everybody, it's me, Niffer. I am very delighted to be your space GM, most supreme overlord, commander, whatever my of titles space. are. Of space. Yes, that. Uh, today, for this special charity drive, we are in the Astral Arcade. Uh, our charity partner is Jasper's Game Day, which is a lovely organization whose goal is suicide prevention and awareness. I'm an ambassador for Jasper's this year, so is our friend Bright. Uh, and that means that we get to be active in our tabletop community and remind you that you are so loved and cared for and we wouldn't be the same without you. So we are trying to do as much as we can for them today. Uh, we are going to be playing the game Lasers and Feelings uh, by John Harper. It's a really simple game set in space, and players have two stats. Guess what they are? They're lasers and feelings. Players build really simple dice pools that you can affect with donations. Our rewards table is somewhere, I think, right? If you yeah. use the uh, command uh, exclamation point Jaspers, it'll, let it, it'll bring you to the right place. That's awesome. So, uh, disclaimer, I know nothing about space, so we're going to have so much fun. 100% uh, of our money goes to Jasper's today, but it's going to stop here long enough for me to inflict shenanigans upon these lovely players. Uh, do you want to introduce yourselves starting uh, proper? How about that? Hello, I'm Proper Nerdy. Um, I am part of the staff of TPK Roleplay, and I made this beautiful, uh, if I don't... So you, good! This beautiful overlay. Um and today I'll be playing uh, Intrepid Boy Scientist, Adam Pipette. Uh, and in Lasers and Feelings, you have a number between two and five. And my number is four. Yeah, so those numbers work. If you're trying to do something lasery, you have to roll under your number or feelingsy above your number. Some are going to be better than others. <laughs> there's, there's no actual say in what is lasery and what's feelingy. It's just whatever the GM tells you. Whim. Gonna be that is what decides. <laughs> um, how about Bright next? Me. Uh, hi, I'm Bright Dystopia. I'm a variety Twitch streamer and JGD representative, and I am going to be playing Gunther, quote, gun bombardier, and my number is going to be five. Because what are feelings? Chrissy. Oh, sorry. My role. Uh, oh, the, yes. the, the dangerous soldier. We could kind of tell. <laughs> Never know. Chrissy. Uh, yeah, yeah. So my name is Chrissy, and I will be playing Karina Thane. She is a savvy doctor. Probably thinks this is all a simulation. Not quite sure. Kind of a hippie stoner. She's just here to feel all the feelings running at a solid number two. Good old and space Sarah. Weed. Space Hello. weed. Uh, oh. I'm playing uh, Fox Greaves, uh, the hotshot engineer uh, who has a modifier of four. Uh, and I'm here to explore all the new places. We got to make sure that this bucket of bolts stays together ish, I guess. Uh, there's enough oxygen in the in the pods to keep us alive for a while, so we're probably fine. It's probably fine. Probably uh, fine. We have we have one more important crew member that uh, proper you were supposed to introduce. Oh yes, I need to introduce our pilot uh, Alderon, who is a space cat, um, and he is really what holds the whole team together. Space cat entered canon about two minutes ago, <laughs> and we loved him already. <laughs> Yes, uh, he's already perfect. About about our ship, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, what? tell us about the ship, Sarah. Right. Well, you see, we're aboard the SFS Macaroni, and it's it's an older model, you know. It's uh, but it's got some really dope features. Uh, the cloaking device it helps us in some uh, tight situations. We're pretty pretty nimble. Uh, but we do have, oh, there's no great way to say this, a, bit, a kind of a grim reputation. Um, <clears throat> no fault of our own, but uh, we're going to be fine. Everything's yeah. fine. It's Everything's fun. fine. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Everything's fine. It'll be fine. It's fine. Space is fine. Everything's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, we will be kind of playing through situations. And anytime that something's in doubt, I'll 
make a roll and we'll kind of just decide probably together is it lasers or is it feelings uh each of you has the one number that you roll above or below if you hit exactly that number you get laser feelings i don't know what those are i don't think anyone does but it just is something special you get special insight into the situation here um one of the things that you can do as a reward is you can give players extra dice to roll so they will roll a single dice or they will get a bonus one if they're prepared and another bonus one if they're an expert at what they're doing i'm playing very fast and loose with those rules you can probably convince me of anything players uh but you can uh you know, add extra dice to them if you if you want to give them a boost. As such, uh, let's get our title crawl in here because this is a space setting and we really need to start this story the right way, which is a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Uh, it is a period of universal midwinter holiday break. Almost everyone is planet side on their own home world, enjoying the festivities and relishing in the company of friends and family everyone except you. See, the Space Force needed somebody to keep up on patrols, and this year your ship, the Macaroni, drew the short straw. The Galactic Peace Accords have been in place for centuries, and the Space Force has quite the grim reputation, so there can't be that much trouble, really. But that means the Macaroni is the only one patrolling the vast expanse of space. It's been a while being just you guys, and you've realized you're all on the same page. The Space Force is kind of the worst. The boss is mean, you have to work holidays, and oh yeah, the Space Force intimidated the entire galaxy into submission. And you've started to get the idea that you could definitely make a much better and cooler Space Force. We've got the first one. Oh my gosh, we've got a first donation. Oh no, it's a... Hell You're starting yeah. with a bad table? <laughs> Mr. Rogers. I'm not surprised, to be honest. Bring it. Bring it? Let's fucking right. go, bro. All right. I'm a ready. bad table. I'm... I'm going to go ahead and uh, roll for bad table, unless one of you guys would like to do Is it. Is that Sir Heck <laughs> donated 20? <laughs> they laughing maniacally. Is it oh, Sir Heck? No. Sir Heck, what Sir a heck, change how can you do this? No, Sir Heck, all of you, please. It wasn't For me. a good cause. All right, so uh, a bad it table. Was me. <laughs> <laughs> So a bad table has arrived, and it's really fitting that you decided to name your cat Alderaan uh, two Shit. minutes oh, ago. Oh no! Oh no! Because the, the Death Star has just arrived in space. How's yeah. that for you? Yeah, the what a great start to lasers and feelings. A big laser moon has showed up. Uh, you're just randomly patrolling, and you see what you think is a moon out there. Oh boy, look at that. It's a moon. Somebody say it. No one wants to say it. That's no wow. moon. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Thank you. Got it. Yeah, I got it. It's fine. What do you mean it's not a moon? I'm sorry, you've seen a moon, Adam. Well, what I mean, means? every moon I see is very exciting. How old are you? I'm 10. Oh, here, let me take that. Ooh, yep. There's definitely bourbon in that. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't leave, should not leave those out. Ooh, close one. Close one. You didn't drink a lot of that, did you, Adam? You're fine. It's probably fine. Just That's a, probably a, a sip or two or five. Just don't tell the doc. Okay. Perfect. So, so, so if it's on a moon, what is it? I mean,. It looks like they've got a barium warp biofilter. <laughs> Is that? Those are plasma neogenic cannon casings. Can you tell somebody found a techno babble generator? Fuck. Where's Where's Gunther? Where's We got it. Where's Gun? All right, I'm back. Uh, sorry, I'm getting interference in the multi-phase transporter and the unit's just collapsing. And fuck, I don't know what just, the fuck to do, but... We just fucking scrubbed those, man. I don't... <sighs> this fucking piece of shit. Listen, <clears throat> I'm still a little hungover, so I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. Care of the dog? <sighs> Probably. 
listen, man, is that what I think it is? Is that? Uh, I mean, that's definitely a beryllium glob launcher. It's tetrillium whiskey. Oh, what, that on that? Oh, yeah. No, definitely that. Please. Right here. Yep. Mm-hmm. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Here you go. Here yep. Go. Oh, thank God. It's worth thank noting God. that next to the Death Star, there is a planet. So, you know. Where did that come from? The planet. The planet. Oh, scanners down there. again. Do I need to go back down? No, listen. Listen, I've got it. It's going to be fine. But, like, Adam saw this thing, and I don't... Adam, how long has it been there? Well, uh, it just appeared about a second ago. A second ago? A second ago. Gun, a second ago. It just appeared a second ago. What in the Sam Hill, boy? Did you scan the damn thing? Oh, right. Of course. I'll scan a thing. Uh, And so Adam goes over to the computer, starts typing away, and is... Fancy keypad. <laughs> Make what? I love it. Right, pulling it out right now. What's up? Amazing. Uh, that sounds like it's probably like a lasers roll or oh, something. Let's do a lasers roll. Want to roll to find out lasers. about the Death Star that just appeared out of nowhere? Um. Okay. We also just got a good table, so I'm gonna roll for we'll that, that while you're working on this. Just yeah, you know, just slide yeah. it in somewhere that makes sense. No, I don't know. Um, yeah, but this is kind of weird, but I'm getting so... a good. For Goodbye. the first roll of the night, I got laser feelings. Um, what? Amazing. Hell yeah. Because I rolled a four. Um, Perfect. <laughs> so uh, if you get a special insight into what's going on, ask the GM a question, and they'll answer you honestly. Um, so I guess a good question is, um, uh, oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I can explain a little so bit. Early. I can you... explain a little bit, and then you can ask a question. Let's to go for like, it. Prod further. There seems to be, uh, well, it's it's the biggest laser you've ever seen, but there does seem to be a small thermal exhaust port, like right facing towards you. It's like a straight shot down there. If you had like somebody with a good good laser, you could you could probably get right in there. Well, uh. You see, you see, you see, kids. There's, uh, um, there's, there's this. You see, uh, kids. You're ten years old. <laughs> hey, Adam, we've talked about this. We've I'm sorry. Talked about this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I told you that if you call me boy or kid one more time, that I would take off a finger. You only have yeah. four left, so. Well, That's well, this right is too. obviously a bigger problem. So, uh, uh, sorry, sirs and and ma'ams and whatnots. Um. Uh, well, there is, seems to be some kind of laser there that we need to, we need to take out. And uh, I, I happen to notice that there seems to be a, um, a small vent in the side, just a straight shot that right to the nanopo- nanopulse uh, hollow crystals that could blow the whole thing apart. Now, if we could get some with a, a paraphoretic photon rifle or some sort like that, we might be able to go straight through the vent and blow up this uh, not a moon. Great, but I still have the morning shakes because I haven't gotten my stuff from the dock yet. Oh uh, yes, of course. So we should. Can we page your space we medicine? Page? Right. Well, it's mostly just a hangover, but sure. <laughs> space. So medicine. as you guys are definitely having this conversation, Karina's gonna kind of like stroll in, and she's gonna have some like different things like all over her face. I would say like ooze or whatever, maybe even on her like rubber gloves, and she was like. I mean, I, I'm elbow deep in some ischiatic heart disease, some, like, you know, I'm trying to work on some stuff. Did you guys see that thing that showed up out there? Yeah. Yeah, it just, just showed, showed up, up a second ago. Just, just yeah, a second I mean, ago. Just a second ago. Uh, yeah, let me... All right, here, hang on. I know Fox needs this, and she's going to pass a couple of, of uh, little okay. vials of, of go-go juice. Oh, thank you. Thank, go, go, juice. Thank, thank the space cat gods. I needed this. Oh, God. Thank you. She just starts pouring random liquids into her mug. Yum. It's seemingly with wanton abandon. And wait, gun, can I actually have a, just a titch more? The flavor is just not quite cutting through like it's supposed to. <laughs> so, uh, Ron, why don't you uh, drive, you know, let's rotate a bit. Let's 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 keep our distance, okay? 
I mean, I think I, I think talking to him might maybe we could like calm him. Do you guys have comms on this thing? I don't well, know. I mean, maybe, but how's that scan? Did you detect any plasma surge in the isotopic pulse circuits? Because if if you did, yes. that planet's a fucking goner. Uh, it does seem to be that way. It seems that that all of those things you said. I was two weeks from retirement. <laughs> It's okay, because I'm only about 50 years. The future looks bright, kid. <laughs> Done? We're going to blow that up, huh? I, th I think you could. It is, it is well within your insights, uh, Atom, oh. to uh, if, you, if you get a well-placed laser beam right in that exhaust port, you can take care of this with no collateral damage. Uh, for my laser feelings questions, can I ask yes. uh, on Karina's behalf, um, who do we? Th who are the uh, owners of this? Not a moon, and um, are they nice people? Well, they're pointing a laser at a planet that has done nothing wrong, and we they seem to be getting ready to, you know, fire it. You're not sure what that laser might do, but. You know, you know what lasers do in general, so. Well, I'm sorry, Karina, but I'm not sure they'd be really willing to talk. Um, unless that laser is a kitten laser, it really uh, is probably looking pretty, pretty, pretty grim. I don't think the kitten lasers were, were uh, <clears throat> scrapped. You remember the intergalactic treaty? Uh, they were too adorable. Just caused remember. too much space traffic. I was just learning this in, in, uh, in my in my space, space history class. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People slowing down, taking their time. Was yeah. all. Question is how we're going to get close. Thing looks unfinished. Uh, and I can't tell what that is, but it looks like it's leaking intergalactic beryllium freon. Maybe we can hide in the cloud to get closer and use the cloaking device if it's working again. That is. Well, we did we did increase the variance on the front quantum shift collector, so I think we're okay. It just uh, depends. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Go for uh, it. Just a <clears throat> question. You think we could just like fly in? Just like fly. Someone with like a I don't know a, a steady a, a steady hand and a and a good heart and a good mind could probably do it. I think. You want to just. Too bad there's none of those here. On a full frontal assault, a right. moon sized space base with a massive cannon on the front. Yeah, the okay. I mean, when you put it like that, it sounds dangerous. But No 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 no. I like it. <laughs> are you are you volunteering? <laughs> Volunteer like to drive yeah, I grabbed the wheel. Oh. You know what? I like it. Let's do it. Uh Adam Buckle will up. Adam will take uh Alderon into his arms. And just like hold him, be like, it's okay, don't worry. I got he's got this. So, uh, Gun, what are what are you attempting to do in this? Uh, uh taking the wheel. <laughs> they said they wanted a full frontal, so I am going to uh I'm gonna drive towards the um the Death Star. The 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 not moon. Yes. Uh and I'm gonna drive towards the opening and I'm not like a precise shooter. I'm not a precision kind of guy. I think volume is better than quality. So <laughs> I'm just going to fire every weapon this ship has in a yep. barrage on my way in. Perfect. Uh, yeah, so you, you start with your base dice. Uh, I'd say you're probably prepared for this because you are, you know, aggressively taking the wheel. Uh, you just said you're not probably an expert at this, so two dice. We do have an extra dice reward from chat if you really feel like you need this to go. The more successes that you get, the better the results are. So I will leave it up to you. And I need to roll over my number? You are rolling, I assume, uh, lasers because you are using a laser. Well, hell, I'm not looking to talk to the ship. Yeah, I'm gonna use that that bonus dice just in case I roll yeah. all ones, which is so. Uh, Supreme Overmind can yes. uh, can Karina go up to him and kind of like you know pat him on the back and say, 
I mean, this was aggressive. I just meant like fly up to it. I didn't mean shoot it, but I support you and I love you. And <laughs> am I allowed to like give him a dice you, to assist? You can you can assist by adding a dice. Yes. Uh, also, I will say as a uh, as Adam took. Uh, Alderaan out of the captain's chair. Uh, underneath was a knitted orange and red and yellow uh, hat. It is a mighty cunning hat, uh, recognized as Jane Cobbs. A uh, man walks down the street in that hat, you know he's not afraid of anything. Uh, that is a good table item you can use, and if you ever try to intimidate somebody while wearing that hat, you will get bonus dice because you're not afraid of anything. Cool. So that's your that's your good item. So I've got just for the record a total of four dice with yes. her. Okay, and, and you need to roll five or below. Or I below. Think, or below. This is lasers. You're rolling under. Oh, your then I don't want to use the extra. <laughs> no, no, you don't. I don't want. I want to go under five, and I've got four d six that I'm rolling. Sure, do what you want. Uh. You, All right. The more under fives that you get, the better. Oh, so it's individual. To, I gotcha. Yes. I thought it was like a grand yes. total. My bad. Nope. Cool, cool, cool. Yep. Uh, in that case, uh, I'm going to flavor up this extra fourth die a little bit. Yeah. Doc, no one needs love and affection when you've got body implants and he's going to grab a little thing out of his pocket and press it up to his temple. Yes. <laughs> And his eye is going to start to spin with like numbers and dials and he will target Amazing. best as he can. Oof. 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 I've got a, a two of five and two sixes. Hell yeah. You know what? You got the two and the five. You yeah. got, you got a good success. So you go in guns blazing. You don't have a lot of weapons because you're, the macaroni chip is a patrol ship and it's got a cloaking device and it's nimble. It doesn't have like big weapons, but it's got enough. And you've been told like this little square right there. You just aim and you just figure, hey, the more that I shoot, the more chance I have of hitting stuff, right? You just go just for it. Law of averages. Law of averages, exactly. And it works. And it's awesome. And there starts to be this really wonderful, huge explosion of just like, and like does the nice little like circle uh, thing before it's about to just go everywhere. I know nothing about space. Uh, and then just right. Just go to the same techno babble generator. Just throw some words <laughs> Hang in on. there. It'll be great. And then there's a power surge in the command and a matrix with Tantalus phaser type <laughs> there four. There we go. Perfect. And coils are collapsing. That's definitely true. Um, <laughs> <laughs> And so, uh, yeah, and this, it, it starts to look really cinematic, but then you got a wormhole. So you're just like standing there really satisfied just with yourself. And then just something opens up beside your ship and sucks you in uh, and transports you to a new part of the galaxy. Somehow you have traveled many, many light years. That's a distance, right? Whoa. Whoa. Uh, and you're suddenly in a new setting. Uh, you are in uh, the restaurant at the end of the universe, just a little little time bubble. And there's a really depressed robot in the corner, and it's really anticlimactic. It just... It well, just, if you're the, I've heard the food here is really good. The view's not so much. Yeah, it's, it's very average, just a time bubble, you know. Woo! 30 minutes into our disembarkment, I blast the main boss in 30, 30 minutes. Hell yeah! Good, well, was this amazing. was great. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be downstairs drinking. Uh, right. You let me know uh, right. if I'm needed again to be uh, awesome as fuck. Hey, hey, gun. <clears throat> <clears throat> Where are we? Uh, Adam will type into his computer again and start looking up to the uh, spatial coordinates of where we've uh, landed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know what a good unit of space measurement is but you're like the space equivalent of like two blocks over where where it looks like we're about a couple quadrants to the left perfect good job okay we got another bad table <laughs> oh gosh why 
<laughs> Who did it this time? Uh, How dare you come We're not around? far. We're not far. We're right here. It's I mean, we fine. got blown back a little bit. That was yeah. a big moon that we just blew up. It's fine. Well, it's we appreciate fine. the we appreciate hitting we, over we 100. Bad table. How dare you? We have hey, hit over hey. 100. Huzzah. Hey, comrade, you real MVP. Nice hey. work. <laughs> no cherry. On. Thank you, comrade. Thank you for your donation. Thank you. Thank you, comrade. <laughs> In, yeah. in this space, we very appreciate it. <laughs> so, uh, okay, yeah, you uh, you start disembarking the macaroni to go to the restaurant at the end of the universe and uh, get a drink. And at this point, uh, the surrounding nanotech becomes self-aware. Uh, the the little like marquee that says like you know the the restaurant at the end of the universe uh just kind of starts all clamoring and talking over itself and it's just like oh what why are we here oh no there's just a depressed robot and nobody ever visits us I'm just oh no can somebody help us have adventures please we just want to see somewhere besides here you should join the Space Force, then. Adam, we've talked about this. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Fox. Yes, hello. Hi. Yeah. What's, <clears throat> what's the Space Force? Oh, the Space Force is great. Really? No. Uh, oh, no, oh, not Sorry. Adam. Sorry, hey, remember remember the diagrams? Hey, Doc, can you do you have the notebook? Can you show him the diagrams again? The, the pros and cons list? Can we just run through that again? Adam uh, Adam takes the, uh, the 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 notebook and and, and studies the uh, the pros and the cons <laughs> and tries not to feel sad. Bad so, boss, shitty as... pay, no benefits. Working holidays, but we get to see space. As Karina walks out of the spaceship, she's going to have a book in her hand, and on the front of it, it's going to say "Don't panic," <laughs> and she's going to open it up, and she's going to attempt to kind of feel out or maybe um understand like what are I, I know you said they're nanotech but are they like beings like what are what are we dealing with are they creatures that we could actually bring on or do we need to put them into another being to have them be sentient enough like what are we dealing with here but she's reading her don't panic book and you can see the whole emblem on the front a <laughs> delightful uh let's see is this this is probably science. You can make a roll for how much you know about nanotech. Right. I think uh, science, it's lasers. Fox Fox would also be kind of examining them, but I think she's looking for spare parts because the bubble transporter bl teleporter bracket is starting mm. to... Uh, so yeah. she's just looking for that particular like gear. And these guys are small enough that maybe there's something. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So is that two separate roles or do you want to help her? I would love to help. Excellent. So I got a four and a one. Okay. And then one extra dice from Fox's assistance. Yeah. And that was a two. All right. So your number is two, yes. which means you get extra, which sounds awesome. Laser feelings. Laser feelings. Laser feelings. If I were a better streamer, I would have like set up like lights and flash happen yeah, every time we have laser feelings. <laughs> Exactly. You, Bray, do you have a air horn effect that we can do for that? For oh, absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah. There we go. That's all Perfect. we need. Yeah, that's, all. yeah, amazing. That's what we needed. So, yeah, you, uh, you know, you start flipping through this book and uh, you, you find a little section on nanotech. Uh, they're not, they're not alive. They're just a lot of like itty bitty teeny robots that, you know, work together. These are, these kind of function like the school of fish in uh, Finding Nemo where they just rearrange themselves to spell different words. And that's just their sad little existence right now. It's just, they have to be the flashing lights on the marquee at the restaurant at the end of the universe. Uh, so they've, They've gotten their routines down and they're just so sad and depressed about being stuck here. Uh, but you're pretty sure that they could be repurposed into making patterns of different types that could work on connecting the circuits for Fox and just really whatever you need. They'd probably be really happy to help you out. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll turn to Fox and I'll say, uh, I mean, I got a really good feeling. 
that we could use these little critters if we're trying to break away from this space force like we wouldn't need to rely maybe necessarily on the the space force for all of our needs i feel like maybe they would help you a little bit more um and I mean, really, we could take the sad little robot with us too. maybe make his life a little bit better. I mean, if anything, you know, just an extra set of robotic hands to do things that human hands can do. Yeah, I don't see why not. Uh, do they have a union head or someone we can negotiate terms with? I'd hate to bring them on board without them understanding the, the terms of employment. It's a good question. <laughs> They're, they're still all chattering over themselves about how upset they are about this and just miserable. Fox uh, will w- walk over and she'll get down. She'll do the like crouch uh, in the, you know, have her, her elbows rested on her knees and just get down eye level with one of the little robots and be like, take me to your leader. <laughs> what? Your leader? You got, you got like a boss or a head or a one of you that knows more things than the other ones? Oh, um... Maybe it's um, a collective consciousness, Fox. Oh shit! Are you collective consciousness? That'd be crazy. Um. What? Oh no. Uh. I think. Oh no! There's a letter burned out on the side, and that was our boss. Oh no. Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Uh, Rest in peace, buddy. Well, listen. Hey, just come with us. Uh, we'll work out uh, some fair some fair terms of of employment, but come. Listen, I got some parts that are just not quite right. Uh, do you know how to descramble backup quantum centrifuges? Because it looks like yeah. it looks like those mandibles there might help a bit. Listen, just come with us, huh? Oh, and then you won't be sad. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, sure. And they like just kind of like hop off the marquee and just all start bouncing along after you like a bunch of jumping beans. Great. Are you taking the depressed robot too? Do I need to put Marvin in here, or are we are we good with? Just hey the there, little... you're a robot, aren't you? Yeah, I guess I am. I guess you definitely are. I'm a scientist. I would know. Well, isn't that just great? You know what else is great? Space. Is Do you want to come with us? Do I have to? How about yes? Fine. Clunk, clunk, clunk. And he just trudges up onto your little loading dock. Uh, No sooner do you get all of these little nanobots and a depressed Marvin inside, but uh, suddenly another wormhole opens up and just drags you to another new location. Whoa! Uh, Whoa! (laughs) It's there. I said that no one else joins me in my wooing. Sorry, should we all do it? Ready, set, one, two, three, go. Whoa! <laughs> it brings me immense joy, everyone. Perfect. Oh, gun. Oh, gun. I'm so oh. sorry. Doc? Boy. Doc, he's. I'm really getting sick of that happening. <laughs> Oof, yeah. I think oh, here. And show out of a different pocket, pull a different set of like gel pill looking things and like kind of wink and like, trust me, I'm a doctor. Doesn't even question. He just grabs it and puts the pill in his mouth and. Yep. This is really going to take up the tantalum magnesium destabilizer if we keep going through these things. Do you know how much one of those costs? I do not know. Uh, but at this point, uh, it's you are... nine thousand space monies. Oh, Ayo. oh, wow. There you go. There you Ayo. go, Mr. Rogers. I got nice. you. Is that our currency of space monies? Yeah, space, space monies. monies. That's exactly what you use here. Um, I'm so, so glad we, we phased out credits. Credits were a mess. Mm-hmm. This yep. new regime. I Space really like monies. the jargon. Yeah. <laughs> Space monies is like the one good thing that has come out of Space Force. It's just everything is a regular word with space as an adjective. Yep. Yep. It's great. So you you find yourself in a new spot. You're outside this uh satellite uh outpost type thing. Uh and there is a a little message on your dashboard that starts to peep to pop up of just like, hey, somebody's incoming call. Um, so, <laughs> beep boop. Beep boop. Beep beep boop 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 beep boop. You open it up, and on the view screen, there is a uh, very uh, neat, neatly dressed uh, 
human human ish looking humanoid? not human alien probably some sort humanoid but yeah um he's got a blue bow tie and nice like comb over uh and he uh introduces himself he's like hello i'm commander marcus what are you doing here how did you get to these places hi there i'm adam hi we are a part of space force we are patrolling during the galact uh universal midwinter holiday oh okay would you like to dock or do you have rounds to continue they used to ask to buy his dinner first, but I don't see why not. Sure, we can All right. dock. All right. Does anybody look- get the impression that they're in a bad oh, Garth yeah. Jennings movie? <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you you managed to dock no, no problems, pull right into the hangar and park and stuff, uh, piling out. Are you taking your whole NPC entourage or is it just going to be you guys? I'll bring Fox Marvin. Is taking the nanos. <laughs> okay, yeah. cool. I guess everyone then. Just, just got but a whole line. We'll leave Alderaan with the ship nanobots. just in case. That's probably best. Alderaan really does like being in his. Alderaan's little, a bit of a homebody. A little bit, yeah. He's, he's really found a good spot in the captain's chair. So, you know. It's important when you take on new nanobots to kind of acclimate them to your to your electro frequencies yeah it helps them perform better so we're just going to need these little guys to you know hang out with us just all the time so it's yeah it's a bonding process really right 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 gotta gotta become one with the ship Mm -hmm. you gotta become one with the crew first part of the ship part of the crew yeah yeah yeah, exactly yeah yeah. maybe put your uh teeny weeny itty bitty shriveled little short ship robots to work on uh, on this one's mood inhibitor. He's bumming me the fuck out. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. He is kind of a bummer, but maybe he just needs a hug. I mean, I'm not really a hugger. Oh, I tried well, several times. It, it, it doesn't seem to work. It wasn't pleasant, the robot says. Oh, man. Uh, this is just how life is. Hey, man. Life is hard, but it doesn't have to be. We're here for you. Do you, do you mean what, do you want one of these little friends to talk to? Tell 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 them your problems. They'll hear you out. They're great listeners. I suppose if I have to. Well, I mean, you don't have to. It's just they really have. They have. No, it's fine. Here. Part of the ship, part of the crew. And he just like holds out a hand. Right, and <laughs> Fox will pick up one of the little guys. Oh. And be like. I'm going to name you George. Here's George. You can hug him and pet him, and he'll make you feel like life's not so bad. Writing down crew members now, George the Nanobot. I'm also going to make him a little cup of tea and, you know, um, just make sure he's very comfortable with his with his new friend, George. Because he's a robot, is it like regular tea, or is it like you know, oil. mechanical oil. Yeah, nice. Oiled motor oil. Motor oil. Delightful. Uh, yeah, he, he accepts it. And she's like, well, there are, are worse things in the world, I guess. Uh, uh, yeah, and then you all can kind of take your little haphazard robot family into this station. There's a, uh, there's a janitor kind of like mopping up in the corner and just like watches all of them go. It's a... You're pretty sure it's the same face as the Commander Marcus guy, uh, but this one's got like a little name tag on his coveralls, and it says Robbie. Uh, and he just kind of like looks at you all. Just like, hi, hi guys. Uh, what what's up? Hi, Robbie. I'm Adam. Hi. This is lots lots of people you have there. This is this is cool. I don't really know where we are, but uh. We decided to to come over anyway. Oh well, well that's nice. There's a there's some there's some stores over there if you need to restock or anything. If you want to find any cool things. Oh boy. Yeah. And so uh, uh, Adam will take Marvin's hand 
and start running, but Marvin will not run, and so he'll just kind of slowly <laughs> drag <laughs> Marvin <laughs> along with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. So you you head through, there's like, you know, the, the sliding bay doors or whatever, so you get into this big, it's a nice open atrium. Yeah, the doors open really nice and sealed everything. I know things about space and stuff. Uh, Yeah. And I've seen one episode of Star Trek. It's fun. I've seen one episode of Star Trek. I know how they open doors. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, you you come into this like big atrium. There's like a lot of empty booths. It's almost set up like a um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Like fair, not fair, festival, farmers market. Yeah, farmers market. So it's, it's kind of with booths of different kinds. There are different goods of like, you know, this is clothing. This is whatever. This is books. Uh, all the all the stores are empty. Uh, and you, it's, it's kind of eerie and stuff. Um, and then you hear the door behind you open again. And it's the same guy, but he's like putting on this big, cloak and like pulling the hood over his face and he like ducks behind one of the stalls and he's like oh hi there uh everybody uh my name's tell and uh what can what can i show you uh, hi tell i'm like? adam Does he have, like, he's a got a mask on? yeah he's got he's got like paint smeared across his face now like he maybe just like put took like a handful in of finger his... mark yeah, yeah yeah exactly yeah is there anyone else in this building are there other people like no. milling around or is it just him there's, it's just, just seems to be this one guy making a lot of different versions of himself. I think you just gave up the bit here. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm being it's, mocked. It's not you. It's our CEO. <laughs> <laughs> this um, whole wormhole is just our CEO. This is, yes, it's good. This is our, it's fine. Our it's fine. To TPK. This is our uh, nod to TPK. So, Your CEO is an entire wormhole, like yep. the entire entity of it. Like we are inside him right now. We're in his wormhole. I don't like the phrasing of I that. I don't like that phrasing. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable <laughs> being here. So, you know, <laughs> six of one, half dozen of the other. Listen, you have a very lovely, sp- uh, uh, well, well, spaceship thing. Oh, oh yeah. Thank. This is, yep. We've, we've worked hard on this. And, uh, yep. Fox, you had a question? Well, yeah, I just noticed their deltonium warp ca- capacitor seems to be disconnecting there. So you might want to check that out. Uh, you oh. are not going to be able to Tokyo drift any of this shit. If you oh, yeah, you're right. Tokyo together. drifting is important. Yeah, very I'll, important. I'll get right to work on that. We actually we actually have a, a pretty pretty smart tinkering person here. We'll, uh, we'll get him right on it. You know, his name's Colin. He's great. Oh, right. Yeah. Sick. Mm-hmm. Sick. Yeah. The Tokyo. Uh, I've never heard that word before. That's Oh yeah, good. Tokyo. Tokyo it's a it's a great place over there. Uh, oh, it's a place. Yeah. It's a, well, it's really more a state of mind. It sounds, really, like, sounds like you're just saying something to say something. No, they're just I mean, really good at drifting in that, that place. One word. <laughs> that one word sounds super made up. I don't, I don't Yeah, just just that one word is made up in all of this. The rest of it I understand. The rest of it sounds like Right like normal tech jargon that you eggheads love love so much but that well, listen uh, man listen man dominic tokyo is one oh. of the greatest pilots of all time and he fucking space drifted through by resynchronizing the iron anti-gravity cannons he was able to drift simultaneously through not an entire asteroid field and under three parsecs so yeah it's a real thing. Tokyo Drift. I just got the yeah, sudden Tokyo. urge inside somewhere, like a voice told me that I should just hate you. <laughs> hey, but man. I don't know why. <laughs> so while they're having We're this conversation, fine. Ken, yeah. Karina is uh, this person named Tell. Are yeah. they creating like mimics of themselves around the spaceship at other stalls, or is he just running from stall to stall himself? Yes, because yeah. Karina's definitely just wandering around from stall to stall looking at things. Nope he he's one person and seems to have different outfits every time that he appears, 
to uh, speak with you. Yeah. It's this one guy, man, in this whole space station. What are but, you, you buying, know, if... Karina? Oh, well... oh do, you, do you need help over there? Uh, and he just like whips off the hood and just like quick wipes off his face band, just like goes and starts picking up another costume. Yeah, I was thinking about buying some uh, some different supplies, maybe some, you know, things we could eat and um, maybe some books to read and some things for Marvin to do to keep him a little bit more active. Um, this, this character has uh, put now glasses on and is uh, like, you know, he's got the, the neat jacket from being Marcus back on. He's like... Well, uh, I can I can help you with that. I'm hi. I'm Colin. I'm quite quite smart and very good about books, and I can I can help you with that. Uh, so uh, this this over here, this is a great series, uh, and just like starts talking to you about this. <laughs> hi, Cole. Um, I'll turn to Gun and I'll I'll say, does he seem off to you? <laughs> is there an equivalent to like an insight check in this game? I think that's probably a feelings well. roll. Okay. Probably some feelings. What a, what do you feel about this? Yeah, I'm just trying to see if you if, how he's feeling. If he's just really not well mentally, maybe. I mean, two and a three, so one success, but it was a laser success. A laser success. Uh, he. He speaks about the other uh, people as if they're there. Like he recommended that you talk to Colin. So it's, it sounds like he thinks that these other people are around. Uh, and he's just playing all of them by himself. I'm going to mention that to Gunn and just say, uh, I really think he might be a little off, but... Doc, I generally trust your intuition, um, but I have a question. Off compared to what? I feel like I have a fever. And I'm just witnessing all of the nightmares. And there are some bad nightmares. I've seen some shit, Doc. And she will no kind idea of... What the hell is going on? Yeah, and that she'll... man scares the shit out of me more than anybody else here because he seems fine and there's nothing about this situation that seems fine so yes he seems off and as as you start saying some of this stuff to her she's like you're going to see something in her brain kind of click and she's she's just going to mumble to herself i swear to god sometimes i think i'm in a game and just keep walking around like there is no way this is real i feel the same way too doc it's living my life out like a game driven by some sadist a sadist with hey a now. penchant for violence violence amazing uh so at one point uh, or at this point, you've you've made some purchases from this person, uh, in like books for Marvin and stuff, uh, and then you uh, you all have little communicators, uh, and through one of them, let's say uh, Atom, you just start hearing a little notification chirp, and it's all just. Uh, he will pull out his. Um... Sp subspace transceiver start pipe typing a few buttons in what is it alderon we're, we're, uh, what do you got oh no is that so oh no um in this uh fantasy i've created i understand what he's saying yes uh, absolutely Please. what is he saying what did what did alderon say um great okay cool um guys Something really bad is happening here. We need to go get back to the ship as soon as possible. I mean, or yeah, I, 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 why? What's happening? 
Well, Alderaan has been doing some scans like I asked him to before we uh, left the ship. Uh, that I definitely did. I did definitely did ask him to do that, and um, uh, he's picking up some weird quantum fluctuations happening from this spaceship. Wait, Alderaan's trying to make modifications to the ship right now? No, 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 not not our spaceship. This 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 hangar area. He's picking up all kinds of weird abnormalities from the meta defensive ram scoops and whatnots. Okay. Uh, well, that could really fuck up the uh, the boron magnesium. This whole okay, place yeah, is carry go. on go. quantum <laughs> phase is out of whack. Fine, let's go. Let's quit. Quick. Hey, hey, little bots. Hey, 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 get out of there. Hey, that's not ours. Don't touch that. Get out. They just they've all stacked on top of each other now. They're trying to see if they can reach the ceiling. Yeah. It's great. They're like, oh, oh, yeah, sorry. We're just we were so excited to see another place. We uh yeah. But we look with our eyes, not with our hands. Right? You know, we respect other spaces. We're nanotech robots. We don't have eyes or hands. Well, we can not with that attitude. You don't. Come on, let's go. We could get eyes and hands. You can oh. get whatever you want if you believe in yourself and try real hard. Oh. Okay. Let's go. And they just like boom, bing, bing, bing. Uh, yeah. Adam will and... grab Marvin's hand again and start running, but Marvin will not run, and he'll just nope. clunk behind Adam. Bunk. Bunk. And so Bunk. Adam's feet this time will like slip on the metal as he's trying to run, and uh, he's not very going very far because Ad uh, Marvin is taking his time. Yep, taking his sweet time. Uh, when you return back to the ship, uh... <laughs> when you return back to the ship, Alderaan is... Uh, kind of just like pacing in the captain's chair and is just meowing at you frequently and just like points to the monitor. Uh, and there is indeed something off with this spaceship and you should probably just get out of here. But also there is a another blinking light on the console of another message to be played. Um, Adam will go back to his, uh, his space... I don't want to say space station, but his his, his station on the bridge and start typing yeah. away at his computer. Um, Excellent. Can I get any more details about what's uh, wrong about what's going on right now? Uh, it's somehow the cat has managed to do a vibe check and Ooh. it's just a weird vibe. Oh, no. Or there's, there seems to be interference in the focused biochips offline <laughs> and... <laughs> Again, that was definitely not a sentence. That was a string of techno babble. Um, you know what? It works. <laughs> um, okay, Aldron, take us out of here. And just like jumps onto the. Apparently, uh, Aldron's a very good driver, and uh, yeah, he's our takes, pilot. He is the pilot. He's a very good pilot, and he takes you out of this section. You do. You can't really like squeal rubber on a spaceship, but whatever the space equivalent of squealing rubber is, that's that's what you're doing. Star Paul Walker can. Um, we got a good table, didn't we? While we were in the sp we? Space, space station. I'll give you that. I'll oh, give we you got something one. else just now too. Oh, hey I mean, we got a Tokyo Drift now. Hell <laughs> Distant yeah. keyboard sounds. There is now. <laughs> Um, we'll so see. we we have we've gotten two good tables while we were in the space station. By the way, two? Oh my goodness! So well, Sweet. one one before and one now. Perfect. I'm rolling. Excellent. So uh, somehow, as you're squealing uh, tires right here, you uh, you manage to make a really big shift uh, as you. Uh, Notice that a nearby star is going supernova, and your ship is able to capture and harness that energy for later, and you now have one super fast burst of speed in your reserves. And you can use that whenever you want, because that's how space works, right? Yeah, uh, sure. I know this is going to sound like a space term, but hello, Raiders. Welcome to our hey, Raiders. Jasper's we are Game space. Day charity stream. 
a magnanimous dispensation. Well, Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers. You beautiful, beautiful Mr. Son of a Rogers' girl. blood and stained sweat. Wow. <laughs> that's, yeah, another, that's another 50, great. right? That's another wormhole. Amazing. I think that that's how this, this ship saves so much fuel. Is we don't actually flying anywhere. We just wormhole across the you galaxy. Really, you really yeah, but happen to wormhole. <sighs> we gotta figure out this wormhole situation, gang, because listen, I'm supposed I get that we're like working and probably gonna bail on this gig soon, but if we get wormholed to the other side of the galaxy, that's gonna be a problem. I ha- I rented a, a hologram and I gotta get it back. I can't pay the late fees on it again. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so that's one of your good tables. And then another one that you have uh, gotten is uh, <laughs> you got a trivel, y'all. <laughs> so when we you got a fucking what? A trivel. You got a trivel. All right. Oh, so no, when we you picked up an uh, extra planar entity on our, on our way back to the ship by accident. That that was maybe the vibe. You you discover that this tribble has kind of uh popped out of nowhere, and uh, you yeah you you figure out through uh Alderaan's very distressed meowing that that was the bad vibe was that this thing had snuck aboard and it's totally up to no good at all. But it's so fluffy, it's gonna be so good. Like this can't go wrong at all. Promise. Fox is going to start grabbing shit and be like, we cannot let that thing in the engine room. <laughs> She's just going to start grabbing random furniture, like taking the bunks and turning them sideways to like build a barricade, like around just completely way too much overkill, just grabbing shit as she starts like duct ta- space duct taping things together to corral this like tribble into a space thing. Space duct tape. Like- Listen, they uh, talked about this in the tech school, and that thing's a fucking monster. We can't put it into the void of space because that's cruel and inhumane, but it cannot stay here. Um, we got a uh, bad table. I'm, uh, I'm, yep, I'm taking worry, note. Uh, Adam is going to uh, <clears throat> grab the treble from un- from behind Fox's back oh, and say, don't no, it. why would you do that? And he uh, pulls out his uh, sonic magnus spanner and starts scanning away at the treble to... Uh, he wants to figure out if this thing can uh, reproduce. Make a sun <laughs> lasers. <laughs> yeah, make a lasers roll. Am I prepared or an expert at this? I'm use my spanner to find out if this thing has reproductive qualities. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! Uh, I'm using what, lasers. <laughs> yeah, use some lasers. I will say you're prepared. You're okay. you're a boy scientist. Boy you scientist. I got classes. two successes. <laughs> awesome. You did it uh, well. Good job. You did it well. You 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 take it and you're like, yes, soft fuzzy things. They're perfect. Uh, and you walk away to set it down and go get your scanner. And when you look back, there's two. And you're like, hmm. I uh, think it can reproduce. Oh no. <laughs> He's going to grab yeah. both of them and chuck them into Fox's <laughs> weird prison thing. Yeah. Fox, uh, you're yeah, right, Adam. and I should never have guessed, second-guessed you. Hey, it's okay. Being curious about the universe around you is what makes you special, so don't apologize for that ever, but also, fuck these guys. Keep them in here. Oh, language. <gasps> sorry, sorry. Adam. Doc, you're going to want to have a talk with that boy. He ain't right. Just check the reproductive qualities of a tribble using a wrench. Uh, <laughs> so, Excuse me, it's a sonic magna spanner. You're also yeah. a psychologist, right? Get the techno babble, right? You're. Uh, I just. You're definitely I gonna him, have to sit down with that one. I told yeah. him I wanted him to feel involved, so I told him just listen. It's okay. It wasn't plugged in. It's fine. Everything's fine. Can we put them in an empty torpedo casing at least and like? Hey man. Hey man. Hey man. We got to get them to the Emerald Enclave. They'll know what to do. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The Emerald Enclave? I thought they were just a space myth. Do you guys not fucking read? As all this is happening, can Karina, um, she's just standing behind everybody with one of her medical scanners trying to decipher if all of this is real. And as her scanners are probably blipping and making all sorts of noise and people are like telling her to do things she's just like yep 
Make make your make your lasers roll. You are probably prepared for this. I think this is a concept you've had in the back of your mind for a while. Oh no. I rolled two ones. Which is so, good, right? Yeah, for lasers yeah. you have to roll under. I oh your number is two. I'm very impressed. Yeah. Yeah. This is a miracle. This is a miracle. This um, is a miracle, isn't it? You you just kind of like flail backwards and just pull down a chalkboard out of like one of the bulkheads that you've been mad scrambling on and you just like start like galaxy brain connecting the dots and you're you're pretty sure you might be in a game you might be in a game I'm I'm gonna mention that to Fox I'm gonna say I think something's controlling us what do you mean big picture you know man like the man and at this point uh our bad table appears uh Karina your evil twin from a parallel universe shows up to take your spot obviously only one of you can survive just like she just out of nowhere just she's dropped in i am going to take a scalpel out of my pocket jesus christ Oh, do we have that in the space version? I don't know. I am a doctor. It's a laser scalpel. <laughs> it's a gotta be spacey. Laser scalpel. Thank yeah. you, Adam. And I am going to point it right at her, and I am going to say, "Get the fuck out!" And no. just attempt to like emotionally intimidate her away. <laughs> All right. Well, guess what? Your evil twin has the opposite stats for you, so she's all lasers and not... Or she's all uh, feelings and not lasers. Whatever it is. What do you have more of? You have more feelings, I'm so feelings. she's all lasers. That's what it is. I'm messing my own self up. Auntie Karina is all it's cold Auntie science. Karina. She's all lasers. You are all feelings. Hey, gun. <clears throat> Are you sure it was just, just whiskey ready. in your thing? Because I'm pretty sure there's another doc right there. Only oh, is that I think a I should have mixed the doc's drugs with whatever was in my canteen. Oh, um, man, this is getting fucking weird. I haven't even introduced the spice from Dune yet. That's a very different good table. <laughs> this is starting to affect confirm. me emotionally. I, I haven't uh, had any of the doctor's wait, gun, space gun. and I can see Are them too. Are you feeling things? I, I I don't know a feeling this is a very complicated situation that we're in and I'm very like I'm confused I'm lost I'm I, I might have emotional damage I might the, my first emotional damage I used to like it I used to love emotional da- emotional damage was like your middle name it was it was it was yeah it was my nickname in high school I uh, right. but th- this is this hurts uh, I might need a rousing speech from pilot Alderaan. Oh no. <laughs> to get me back on track. Alderaan, would you please say the words that you say so often? Hey doctor. That always make me feel better. We'll shiv we'll shiv that person later, but <laughs> she's she's just kind of like looks between Karina's eyes. No, I'm I'm the real Karina, y'all. And meanwhile the cat is just Karina would never down. say y'all. Shoot, that's that's how we know oh. it's the wrong one. Shoot, <laughs> that's <laughs> true. Yeah, we shoved that one into an airlock. <laughs> he was gonna say, space. Oh, "This this is Sparta, that homie, right into an ejection pod." <laughs> yeah, like Alderaan ejection uh... pod. <laughs> Whatever hey, that hey, means. Hey, hey. Yeah. That y'all was pretty sus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah as Alderaan is giving uh, the Alderaan rousing hops speech, down and just like walks over to the feet of Imposter Karina and just gives just the biggest like up down. Just like yells. I love it. I love it so much. Yeah, I'm just gonna punch her. Ooh, I Do love it. it. I will. Yeah, let's. That's that's probably a feelings. I think just that's just yeah. I don't know. Back me up. Feelings, lasers. What is I this? Think it oh, it's totally I think feelings. It's totally feelings. It's feelings. It's feelings. Punching, it's about it's just punching her in the face. Hell yeah, yeah it's feelings. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a four and a two. Perfect. Hell yeah. That's that's laser feelings. You have 
the all the force of science behind this push and Hell you yeah. uh yeah there's there is a convenient airlock behind her uh that you just punch her through and <laughs> somehow just <laughs> the the door slams shut and you just smash the button and she's airlocked out you have defeated your evil twin <laughs> congratulations uh yeah hey, Doc, this kind of feels like a big moment for you I'm feeling really good. Um, I could really use a group hug. You know, it's going to be a really shaky group <laughs> hug because uh, as as you all kind of re re recover from that, uh, there's another wormhole that got happened a while back and we just had to take care of the evil twin first. So let's get another shake going on because you got a wormhole. Shock point also just Whoa. gave us a thousand bits. Shock point. <laughs> so that is that's ten dollars, yeah. Oh. That's ten dollars, yep. Oh. That's a big table. <laughs> Amazing. So God, we, it's gonna be okay, man. It's gonna be yes. Stay here. Uh, Adam will hold on to Karina in the hug while they're going through the wormhole. Whoa. Yeah, perfect. And uh, that was so we... scary, Karina. Why do those keep happening? Oh wait! Fox just trying I'm to the science stabilize officer. her beverage. You, you are the science officer. Uh, this is, <laughs> yeah. So you, you watch out the window of the airlock as your evil twin just like starts spinning, and then this wormhole opens up between you and her, and just like sucks the ship through to another, uh, thing. And uh, you you notice on the ground as you're all recovering, like oh something got shaken loose from evil Karina and there's a sonic screwdriver on the ground uh, that must have fallen out of her pocket or something uh, it fixes everything except wood so you have that at your disposal now I've been sending I... the rewards to the discord so that you can see and use these oh, things later if you want that's what that was okay I would oh, like to think yeah. that this is just a regular ass screwdriver with a little sonic like emblem on the handle <laughs> like that's it sticker <laughs> yeah Yep, it's a sticker that's kind of peeling on the end. <laughs> it's like bit. holographic. <laughs> yep, yep, it is. It's pretty great. Yes. So, yeah. how are the tribbles doing? Are they how how many are we up to? How many aren't there is more the question. This little a duct little taped cage that you is like starting to like expand. People. Yeah, you're. You know, it's. You could probably huh. start using these as like you know, anything you want. Building blocks like need a need a boost. You can step on just a pile of tribbles like. Mm -hmm. Fox, or not Fox, Adam is never going to be too short for anything again. He can just use step stools made of tribbles now. It's great. Or, you know, use them as projectiles. You know, whatever you want. There, There's probably a lot of uses for these tribbles. If they get in the ventral flow repeller, we're going to have a bad time. Um, yeah. So Adam's going to uh, head back to his station and start typing away at his computer to try to uh, figure out what he knows about these uh, wormholes, if there's any way to stop them from happening. Why would you want them to stop? Because <laughs> I'm in character, Nipper. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, sure. Make make a, make a your lasers roll. Am I an expert? Uh, sure. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a boy scientist. You're a boy scientist. Um, I got two successes. Hello, my lasers. Well, you see, uh, you've been hearing Karina, and then Gunther is getting this idea as well of there's a higher power here controlling all of us and our place in the universe. And you're starting to suspect, like, hey, maybe just the forces of the universe want these wormholes to happen right now. Whoa, man. Whoa. Yeah, you just, you just got to take a little second there. Uh. Uh, Adam will pull out one of the um, the tri the tribbles and sit down on it like a little step stool and just like think about his life in the universe. Perfect. That's yep. Good. This is it's fine. Everything's fine. We're we're not just here performing for audiences at all. This is fine. I'm just ten, but it just it puts all of my life into perspective. You know, to think about how. The universe is so wild and interesting. It's the reason I joined Space Force at only nine years old and became the wor the universe's youngest boy scientist. Uh, hey, Doc, I think he so had crazy. way more of this than he than he admitted to. Uh, we might need to do something and fast. 
I'm going to pull up a, a triple stool <laughs> and sit next to him. Can I imagine that your triple crisis. stool is three trebles on top of each other? So you're like yes. on a like a, a doctor's stool. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to say, you know, Adam, it's OK to question where you're at. Um, but it's even better that you're that you're doing it here with us. And no matter what, we're glad you're here. Um, but I'm going to need you to stop talking crazy out loud because I think they hear us. And I think the more that we talk about it, the crazier it's going to get. Let's keep this between us and maybe Gunther. Haven't quite approached it with Fox yet. I'll get there. But we got to figure out who this master planner is. You with me, son? I need you to be with me. Yes. Okay, good. And I'm going to kind of hug him and place a triple in his lap. Okay. This is fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. You've broken Adam. An existential crisis was not on the agenda today. I wrote a lot of notes. That was not one of them. I love this very much. But yeah, you are, you're in uh, a wormhole now. And, uh, yeah, you're you're in a brand new spot again. A look at the uh, galactic map will show again. You really only jumped like two, three quadrants tops. So like these wormholes aren't pushing you many places. Uh, but you are you are now uh, aware of like okay, we're we're in a new place, and there is a planet nearby, uh, and Alderon seems to recognize it and he just kind of like jumps up on the viewport and like starts kind of scratching at the window what is it boy <coughs> really you're familiar with it <coughs> you've been there wow <coughs> you've had such an interesting life before you joined space force <coughs> <coughs> is it dangerous <coughs> <coughs> Oh, okay. Well, we'll be careful then. Um, I'm gonna go back to my my computer and start typing away. And what is the the name of this planet we got here? The name I did not name this planet. Oh shoot! There's um, got to be somewhere that's like a like a random planet namer. Uh, yeah, to the techno babble. Um, I don't know. Here, I'll do one right now. MK12. Charlotte. Charlotte's a good name. Good Charlotte name. <laughs> Charlotte. <laughs> we're we're hovering. We're uh we are um in orbit kind around Charlotte. Yeah, comrade, that's an excellent suggestion. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah. Some some of you might uh remember that if you've if you've worked with Alderaan long, uh, Adam is new to Space Force. Uh, so he's not as familiar. Of- being born yeah <laughs> not that long years ago, ago. <laughs> adam is recent to this world and to space force uh but those of you who have been in longer know that charlotte is the planet of the cats where alderaan is actually from you've encountered his home world shit it's been a long time since i was in charlotte oh boy a whole planet of space cats well i yeah. guess if you're on the planet they're not space cats they're just regular cats i assume well, no. Wow. Now, hold on. They're still space cats. They, oh. they, they actually, it's a term of respect. Oh. Uh, and you've got to be wow. really careful uh, because if not, they will read you as a scratching post and claw you just right to death. Yeah. Yeah. You want to make sure you get their pro, pro meows correct too because they're, it's the tone is specific. I've heard. Just. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, do you, you know, you know the customary greeting, right? This is very important. Uh, Cats, put the no. hand out. Okay. Put the hand out. Hand out. Wait for them to acknowledge. Okay. Then pet. Okay. Good. Uh, yeah. Karina Alderaan is, going is, to Alderaan is nodding very dignified during all of this. Like, yes, of course. And so uh, Adam's going to uh, try to impress Alderaan with his newly gained knowledge of how to uh, address the cats. Excellent. Karina, what were you going to say? I was going to say Karina is going to pull on a couple of um, like waiter style boots that are made of um, cat post material. (laughs) And she's just going to like look at everybody and she's going to be like, suit up. Yeah, Uh, we all don our twine and robe (laughs) boots. 
uh, spray them with a bit of a uh, uh, catnip? space catnip and uh, uh, prepare for the world. We all have to wear long sleeves because uh, in case of scratching. Yep. Uh, Fox get, turns to the nanobots. Uh, hey, George. Pole. George. Oh, oh, yeah. Hi. Listen, Hi. See, the, the triple situation is uh-huh. going to get worse. Oh. So I'm going to need you. Uh-huh. Hey. Hey, I have an idea. Yeah? What, what just if, leave him here? What if, what if me, you know, because I'm, I'm a nanobot, yeah. what if I get on one of those mm-hmm. and then all the other ones get on the other ones of those uh-huh. and then we can have a rodeo. We can have like races. Now this sounds like a hoot nanny that I want to be a part of. Yeah. You know what, George? George? Yeah. I like the can, sound of that. Can I do that? Ticket sales? Ticket sales would yeah. 100% Ooh. enable us to Ooh. replace the hardening. Are you saying, are you saying I, can, I can be a showman? Are you George. saying George. Are you saying I have a good idea? Yes. <gasps> if this is what resonates in your heart and this is what you want to do with your life, yeah, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ride Tribbles for a living. Hell yeah, dude. I found what I want to do! Dude, up top. Oh shit, you don't have uh, hands yet. We're mm, sorry, that was well, offensive. Hang, I'm so sorry. Mm, it, that it's fine. I'm you know what? Maybe maybe if I make enough money from these triple shows, I can, you know, get right. get yeah. some cybernetic enhancements and and grow some hands. Right, 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 right. Uh, yeah. so I could, deal, I, could though. I could use my head just like uh, just like he flings himself forward to try and give you a high five uh, with his No, no. Five. Fox returns with a headbutt of her own. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, nails it nice very good hey george i'm proud of you yeah. oh i'm proud of you oh oh thanks that yeah, right that means yep. a lot person that yeah. i just met that i don't think hey, we ever hey, actually hey, got hey, introduced hey. um yeah. the name's fox and you're great she's just gonna get up and <laughs> get ready to go okay so the tribbles and the nanobots have been taken care of now they're riding off into the sunset hell yeah hell yeah and uh yeah you all Get ready to go down to the planet of the space cats. Yeah. It's it's been about an hour and a half. Do we want to take a short break and then we can see what madness comes after this? Let's, let's yes. I'm still waiting for a plot, but I'm loving this so far. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Uh, you you think I came into this with a plot? Oh, There's a hundred percent a plot. We're trying to understand the meaning of the universe while being simultaneously Dominic Tokyo drifted. <laughs> 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 through fucking wormholes yeah there's, just, there's we've just resolved plot. the docs like long uh existing uh, uh toxic relationship with her evil twin this all your backstories are coming in yeah, we've this. helped we've helped uh not only give nanobots confidence but like life given purpose. them their life's Just dream them and purpose. purpose we're fucking crushing it mate <laughs> yeah you are tying up all the storylines i love it okay we're going to take a short break, yeah. <laughs> and we will be back very shortly. Uh, have a lovely five minutes, and we'll be back very shortly. Sh- Hi, everybody. We're back in space. Uh, things have been happening. And, yeah, we our wonderful crew of the uh, SFS Macaroni has been pulled through space in many ways. And uh, has somehow made their way to the planet of space cats. And they are about to uh, embark on an away mission. They've all donned space suits of twine, apparently. And uh, yeah, I'm about to do all a planet of cat NPCs, I think, is what's going to happen. Somebody save me. Now, I think what we're going to do is uh, we all have in our general supply a uh, universal translator. So uh, you don't have to meow everything, oh, I would say. Oh, good. We can good. say that we Perfect. are turned on our universal babblefish, and we are ready to yeah. go. Oh, yeah. Mine's malfunctioning. You absolutely have to meow everything. Oh, what about <laughs> oh, Okay. No. It's okay if a sonic screwdriver can fix anything. Yeah, except wood. Except oh, shit, wood. but we left it on the ship, and these are, in fact, made oh, out of wood. Oh, no. Universal translators are made out of wood. Everyone Wooden knows translators, yeah. yeah. It's, it, you gotta get, it, it has to be mahogany. Mm. Uh, because yep. it just conducts that the, the, is mahogany. mahogany. <laughs> it just conducts the the sultry tones 
a lot yeah. better. It's a good yep. tone wood. Yeah, really, really good for ASMR in space. It's great. Anyways, so, so. I'll turn to Gun and I'll say, uh, if your bobble fish isn't working, I got a few extras. You want a new one? Uh, nah, I kind of like the rhythmic meowing. It <laughs> soothes me. I feel that. Yeah, I'm like, that tracks. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna meow the whole thing. I will. I will do my best. Council of Cats impersonation. It's okay. Fair. I already understand cats, evidently, so you can translate oh, yeah. through me. Yeah, you do. That's great. Good. It's, it's become canon that I know how to speak yeah. cat. Well, you understand cat. cat. I don't know if you meow back. Do oh, you? no. I don't. I speak in English, and they understand me most of the yeah. time. They're pretty good it's about like, that. Years it's, old. Like still has it's like Wookiee. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Yeah. So, they yeah, are better you, than uh, us. They understand more than one language, but we're yeah. we're not as good. Cats yeah. are superior to all other life forms. This they really not... are. Sorry, some you were saying. Things, some things are true in space. Much like this. These cats are superior. So you all you all make it down to, you land your ship on the uh, planet of the cats. You leave the nanobots that are now deciding to ride the triples like a rodeo. Uh, they're practicing in the cargo bay. And they've decided that they're going to, you know take this show on the road eventually but they gotta they gotta do a dress rehearsal first they'll show you when you get back they say <laughs> so uh you you step out into the council of cats world uh alderon is still on the ship but he uh tells adam to pass along uh his warmest wishes and if you find his family to say hi from him will do yep uh uh, Supreme Overmind, can you refresh my memory on what Alderaan looks like? <laughs> Alderaan is a cat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what kind? A space cat. Yeah, well, like, what are his characteristics so we could know if we find his family? Uh, um, I have been thinking about this if you want me to, <laughs> to describe Alderaan. Yeah? You want uh, to describe the space cat? Uh, sure. Alderaan is a, uh, uh, what, a, 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 a Charlotte long hair. Um, so they have long, lush hair that is green, um, and he has one blue eye and one yellow eye, and um, he has one, a big white spot right on his belly. Oh, and a single white paw. That is better than I ever could have decided. <laughs> well done. This is what happens this when is... you make the mascot of your own show. Yeah, I was cat. like, this is just the cat from the proper parlor games. Which, uh... Young. Shameless plug! <laughs> Shameless plug! Yeah, once a month we play board games. It's lovely. Anyway. Right. Yeah, the last half of this is just going to be all advertisements for our other shows. <laughs> just We've already done all of Cole's characters. We're We've done all, all of Cole's. On to the rest. So as we exit the ship onto the Cat Council planet, yeah. Rena's just going to make a mental note to keep an eye out for cats with two, one blue eye, and one maybe the father has blue eyes and the mother has yellow eyes yeah okay well i'm gonna try to figure out a way that i can remember to pass along alderaan's message to his family maybe just tell every cat that alderaan says hi and just cover all your bases that's a good idea thanks yeah, supreme sure. overmind that's why we pay you to be the supreme overmind i get paid you guys are getting paid <laughs> No, Jasper's is getting paid, y'all. <laughs> Remember that this paid. stream benefits Jasper's Game Day, which is a really great organization that puts money toward, I think it's suicide prevention, right? It's suicide awareness and prevention. There yep. we go. So if anything you donate helps them bundles, but also it changes how the story goes. And we've already had a bunch of weird weird stuff happen, so uh, keep it Look, coming somehow it took us an hour and a half to get to a planet of space cats so like if you it think really you should can have been better, the first thing we did i mean if, if we're being if honest you think you can do better let me hear you so uh yeah you you all venture down into the realm here uh the cats seem to be the superior race here but uh there also do seem to be like some humanoids walking around and stuff uh and you you all kind of don't make it far before your uh you are stopped by a cat it's a, a short haired kind of orangish uh with like white on the nose cat uh and 
uh, it, it, or she uh, just kind of stops you and is like, oh, please, please help. Um, I, I need some help. My, my human is stuck in a tree. Please help. Wait, there's humans on, on the cat planet? There's humans on the, on the cat planet. There's some humanoids around. Wait, are the humans the pets on this planet? Maybe. Know. I'm going to uh, put my hand out the way I've been trained oh, and yes. uh, uh, give them a second before uh, petting the cat. Yes, the, the cat acknowledges the respect and just like kind of tentatively is just like, oh, oh, and just like nods and puts oh, yeah, puts okay. her heads up to be petted. She starts purring really loudly. I cannot purr and I'm really disappointed in myself, but you know. <gasps> Someone did it. Hand. Someone had it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Um, just hold Pascal near the microphone. Oh, uh, let me go grab her. <laughs> yes! Um, Pascal is on okay. this planet somewhere. What can we do? Where Where is your human now? Um, um, stuck, stuck up there, over there. And there's just like a big tree, like a hundred feet off. Um, uh, she, she's, she's not really good at, at climbing trees. She's really small for, for a human. So she, yeah. What's Fox her is name? Gonna make it. What? What's her name? Zurich. <laughs> you know. Sur- right, 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 right. The right, right. common yeah. human name is Zurich. Yeah. Uh, Fox is just going to walk right over uh, to the tree uh, and look up. And uh-huh. do I do I see a person in the there's, tree? There is a small human just kind of like chilling in the tree on a branch. Can't quite reach the next uh, branch down. And she's just like, um, hi. Yeah, you kind of in a situation there, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. Uh, you were were you checking out birds or something? I like, was. What? There was a really cool bird up here. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, listen. Your cat really wants you to come down now. You, you know, I I also really want to get down, but I can't also really want to quite. Get down. I don't know mm. how I got up here entirely. Okay. I I was just so excited about the birds. Right. And now I can't get down. Mm-hmm. Do you have like, I don't know. Any, well, any help? Let's see. Is there a lithium microfilament portal housing somewhere here? We can maybe create an anti gravity field. Uh, uh... Karina is going to be referencing her book again. Yeah. Um, and <clears throat> attempting to see if there's anything within the book uh, that will help uh, Sarek. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah. If there's anything that we can do or say or kind of like anything that we can just really give them the feeling of being empowered and strong and amazing like they just are one of the coolest people and they got this they got this they can do this you know you can do this 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 sounds like a feelings role it sounds like a feelings role to get Sarek out of the tree Fox would we would be assisting in this probably poorly just like yeah, yeah. just go and do kid I I you got it yep do yep. the thing <laughs> roll a four yep. to five that's a lot of feelings that's some that's some good feelings there um yeah yeah you you manage to just like coach her through you're just like we're here Truly for you we're here to catch you uh if if you fall but you're not gonna fall because you're amazing you're talented you're gonna get everywhere that you want to be and uh you you manage to just like get her to trust y'all and just drop down and she manages to climb out of the tree you solved my tree puzzle it's great uh and she's like oh oh thanks so much and the cat like runs over and she's like oh snickers yay and she grabs the cat and they just have a beautiful reunion and cuddle that's and beautiful man that's it's really beautiful good. yep it's great and snickers hey, is gun. very hey, happy gun. are you turning up on me man <laughs> what's up i'm sorry are you are those tears are you are you feeling things again no no i put a new alcohol in here and it's really strong oh right right right, right. <laughs> kind of burns checking, like checking, cinnamon checking. Just it's like a cinnamon whiskey. It, it stings, though, and so I'm Ooh. tearing up. It's like when you have soda, yes, when you haven't had soda in a long time. Right, 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 right. It's like what the auto. What soda? Oh, no. You'll know when you're older. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Like alcohol, but for kids. It's great. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. 
You just dropped my knock some things over. My augmented reality set. <laughs> Whoops. You gotta be careful there. with those tungsten power oh. drives. The Heisenberg hologram with bispatial transporter emission? <laughs> yes, yes, that that thing happened. Yeah, just that. Fun. A shame. Oh, wow. Make sure you that. reconnect your central subspace optic cable. I know I was so, yeah, mine up. really insightful up top. Yeah. Real quick. Um, <clears throat> so there's yes. humans and cats on this yes. planet. Yes. What um. What what else is there? I mean, is there like a, 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 a I mean, there's a birds, local fauna and fauna, like or yes. An astoundingly it looks a lot like legends of this planet that you've heard called earth but oh. this planet is called charlotte and is the oh so it's superior it's it's just earth yes, tell you the what cats are superior how would you all like a limitless supply of cat toys yes all right sit tight i'm gonna head back to the ship and oh, i'm gonna no. i'm gonna grab all the tribbles. <laughs> Not no. all tribbles. They are. They have been practicing for their rodeo for so and long. Don't you dare take all of them. There are more yeah. tribbles than there are nanobots. There Every is, last. Yes. No, no, no. Every last one, because I the don't... the robots need an audience to play too. They're not just going to stay on the ship. So you bringing the robots too. Then so the, I'm so explaining the to the robots happen. what's happening. I'm gonna be like, you guys are staying here. Oh, um, oh, oh we're, like we're gonna leave like you with these is... folks because this is your your. This is our first venue. Yeah, yeah. so it'll be your first venue, and then I mean, okay. you're you're kind of gonna be the stars of this planet. Um, because oh, we're great. hey, uh, we're we're kind of nervous. Uh, can you can you watch our dress rehearsal first? Just just stand there. We'll we'll do it. You sure, sure. Show me what you got so far. We we need the support. Okay. Sure. And so, uh, yeah, these little nanobots. Uh, no arms, no fa no faces, no anything. But like, they're they got heart. And they are just doing as many tricks as they can. Believe. I really like to imagine that in character you have just turned away and are drinking for the entire performance. Exactly. Yeah, good. Cool. Great. Uh, uh, and Adam so, has stars in his eyes as he watches them. He's so oh, good. excited. Yep. So they, oh. they go through these, like the tribbles are doing flips and like jumping over each other. They do one of those like ski pyramids where they all stack up. And like the pyramid of tribbles is taller than Adam as it should be it's not hard but you know it happens and so uh yeah they they fall a couple of times because the tribbles like replicate in the middle of moves and so they kind of like catch themselves off guard a second but they they recover and it ends up being kind of a good good little show there like lots of trick pony type moves and stuff so yeah great 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 uh that's awesome why don't you uh, take all of this outside, and uh, your first show is going to be tonight. How about that? You guys look ready. Yeah. All right. Thanks. I that that means so much that you that you support us so much that you really believe in us. This is great. Oh, we yep. can do this. Totally the reason. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, go ahead and uh, round up all your little furry things, and uh, yeah, and then the just hell like off start ship. charging down the loading dock, just like a stampede of nanobots riding tribbles and off they ride into the cat sunset superb superb uh i will bring this stampede just kind of like hurting them back hurting things towards well, cats. <laughs> towards the pre uh towards my group um yeah uh, i feel we're gonna we're gonna meet we're gonna kill two birds with one meteor here um sufficient these uh, are all staying behind space I mean, the Deidre, the planet of space dogs, is just a click that way, too. So they can probably, if things go well, just... Yeah, they uh, could, like, tour. I feel like space dogs are easier to please than space cats. I mean, they, they definitely have a tougher crowd here, but that'll really hone their skills. Sure, sure, sure. I, mean, I would, I would imagine should, we'd leave them in a place where they know have that the... They should never visit Eustace, the, the planet of the hamsters, because it'll just all become a mess of fur. Ooh, yeah, Ooh. they're really difficult to differentiate between tribbles. Yeah, leave them in Probably. the place where they have the the most room to grow. I guess is what I'm getting at here. And also, yeah. get rid of these tribbles. Yeah. yeah. Also, yeah. like cats are probably the natural predators of tribbles. Yeah. So I mean, they do just kill things. Yep. 
We should go. We yeah, should, yeah. So it won't go. be a problem here at all. Um, this has been great. We got a wormhole to catch uh, and figure out where the hell it's going and why oh, our wait, lives are upside down. Do. <laughs> this has been great. Have a wormhole Too late. To it just happened. Oh, no. Dude. Too late. Hey. <laughs> it just happened. Just so I, I'll, before, before. Yes. Before we run back to the ship, I'll just talk to whatever cats are around. Just say, uh, Alderaan says hi. Uh, tell tell the parents that Alderaan says hi. Oh. You know, Alderaan. Yeah. You know, Alderaan. Yes, Alderaan says yes. hi. They, <laughs> just they're like, oh, we cat. all know Alderaan. Alderaan's great. Alderaan is war criminal on our planet. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted for high crimes misdemeanor. Alderaan, we exiled Alderaan 50 years ago. <laughs> God, Alderaan uh, is old. All the runs just got his paws on the glass like 30 years ago on our planet. <laughs> this became really dark, really. <laughs> yeah, it really like... did. <laughs> um, yeah, there's there's some mixed reactions. Like half of them are like, Alderon's great, and the other half are like, get him out of here now. So you're probably some of them like, are like, yeah, he's all right. That's so the only reason Alderon didn't mission. join us on this away mission yeah. is that he couldn't. He was not mm-hmm. allowed. Listen, like, very divisive opinions on Alderaan. Okay, well. When you go to yeah. dinner with Alderaan, he always orders the most expensive thing, even though you just get a salad and then insist that we all split the bill evenly. And it's like... <laughs> the true right. evil in the universe. Yeah, yep, that's... There's no creature more evil than Alderaan. <laughs> Alderaan's the big bad. I'm so glad you that's finally That's a grim reputation. <laughs> that is, yeah. That's why. That's why all of this has happened. It's because of Alderaan the, Alderaan the Claw. Yep. Is on our. This is so good. Perfect. Alder on the merciless. You know, uh, it, it, it's fine. So yeah, you got a wormhole to catch. You uh, <laughs> you you hop in to uh the the macaroni. That's the name of the ship. Wow, you you hop in back to the wormhole. Uh, the console still has a little red beeping message. Oh yeah, uh, Adam suddenly remembers yeah. that that's his job, and he goes back and types oh, in yeah. his computer again. You're, you're communications director here. I, oh, I'm mes- I'm many things. I'm the you're... intern. I do whatever they tell me to do. I relate. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, you all you all hop on. Uh, you you start checking the messages right as you know. Oh no, it's a wormhole. Everybody shake. Whoa. Uh, 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 uh. Perfect. Great. So last second, you're like, oh, yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> you are, no, that's on brand for the filming of original Star Trek. It's just like the late reactions. It's fine. <laughs> it's great because it messes with my background, too. So I'm just like yeah. phasing in and out of out of phase, I guess. Uh, Science works. Hurting cats. Okay. Yes. Anyway, yep. let's go. More techno battle. That's all this needs. Um. <laughs> So yeah, uh, you are you are checking your messages uh, as this wormhole deposits you uh, outside a very uh, familiar looking uh, space complex. It's just kind of like a very large uh, building, collection of buildings, whatever, uh, floating through space. Uh, it is actually the Space Force headquarters. Uh, and the beeping red light uh you punch in your voicemail code or whatever and it's a message it's just zero 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 we never changed it yeah that's fine it's fine (laughs) hey look it's really hard for alderaan to type in the code because he doesn't have like individual fingers so like just smashing the bottom one works it it just does so yeah the uh the uh, message uh, relays uh, it is no less than the head of Space Force himself, Cyborg Elon Musk, and uh, he he uh, has a message for you and is like I've, this is what are you doing up there? This is not okay I've been hearing lots of things you're doing good deeds up there, how dare you this is not how Space Force acts, I need to see better acts on my uh, desk. Yes, By the sir, time Commander, I get back, Commander Musk, okay. please, sir. Fox will run up to the run up to the. Cu- sorry, sir, you're breaking out. It seems like the. I'm sorry, and it will cut communication. It was a voicemail, but yeah. Fox Whoops. doesn't give a shit. <laughs> he just deletes the, hey, the voicemail. Listen, 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 listen. Was there? Listen, I was expecting a call on here. Uh, did you? Did there? Did the the Ash and Rabbit? Did they call? It was from. It was supposed to be from. We were going to meet up for drinks later. 
and I was waiting for that. Oh, I uh, thought that was a spam call. I deleted that a while ago. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool, kid. Hey, kid. What? What? No. <laughs> She'll just turn and walk <laughs> away. No. Yeah. Okie dokie. So. Uh, but uh, but head of Space Force just called, but he's, you're pretty sure he's planet side, and Space Force, the capital, not the capital building, uh, Space Force, like, the headquarters is right there uh, if you wanted to do anything. Or you can keep flying. There's plenty of NPCs and members of TPK that we haven't met yet. Uh, 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 F- Fox, I know that you, you don't really like... Uh, a commander cyborg Elon Musk, but um, um, should we re- go back and report what we found so far? Listen, kid. You're trying to go down the path of righteousness, but we're going to take you down the path that rocks. Fuck working for the corporate man! <laughs> She's going to like... Oh, I mean, <laughs> I guess you are right. It is universal midwinter holiday. I'm sure no one's at the office right now. It's just so empty. We yeah. are the office. <laughs> I, I, I thought gonna, we were trying to get away from the corporate. I, I'm you know gonna what? just say maybe we need to like take it over. Oh. Maybe we need to become the masters of the universe. Maybe we need to become the game masters of the universe. Why aren't we making moves? Oh. There's nobody there. Take it over. It's our space station. We are space force. Adam goes we to sit down on his uh, triple stool, remembers it's not there anymore, and falls on the ground. Oh. And just ponders the universe again after Karina's sudden mind-blown explosion moment. You know, there's no reason we couldn't do this on our own. I mean, the, the vibe lately, it's <laughs> its almost as if any group of idiots could have done what we did today. Um, and we didn't do much. No one could do it like you guys have. <laughs> this is great. Uh, well, I think Why don't we just start our own? Yeah, In fact, yeah. Uh, that's Space Force headquarters right there. Is that what you said? That it's here. Yep, this is Space Force headquarters. We're cool. Not Tell you what, destroy it, are we? Tell you what, we harvested the energy from that supernova earlier, right? <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah, Why we don't we did. transfer the energy to our forward plasma ray and uh-huh. fire it at at the Ready? old? Let me just go recalibrate the, the Crontonian housing lubitator and we'll get it done. All right, let <laughs> me know. Let me know. I got my finger it. on the fire button right now. Booking uh, it down someone, to do just that. <laughs> someone might want to check to see if their Dibordium subspace field is up. That way, you know, in case, you know, they oh, have I'll any do a protection. Scan right now. I don't think a Dibordium, Dibordium shielding is going to protect them from a, the energy of a supernova. I listen, think, listen, uh, listen. Just tell them that their packages arrived. They have to. They have to drop the shields to, to get shipments. Yeah. Just, just tell them. You that. know we're overthinking this. We work for them. Why? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Adam, Adam, can you open the gate, please? <laughs> Gunther Bombardier of Space Force Marker X five zero one nine. We're we're returning to base uh, for a refuel and weapons charge. Uh, Requesting permission to dock in Loading Bay 5. Oh, Loading Bay 7 is so much better, though. <laughs> Correction, like Loading machine. Bay 7 is a lot closer to our departure line. Uh, if you could just uh, open those up for us. Again, authorization. Yep. Uh, whatever Same the words you just said were. Zero, zero, zero. <laughs> whatever zero. I said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the... Uh... It, it takes a little bit uh, to get a response, but then you, you hear through the comms. Oh, hi. Sorry. I'm the only one here. I, I got a project later. Um, but yeah, I can, I can let you in. No problems. And uh, Adam, you recognize that uh, this is actually an intern that has, was hired on about the same time as you. Uh, his name is Madigan. And uh, he, he's pretty new, but you know, it's just, really knowledgeable and stuff and uh yeah and so he he opens the the gates for you i guess uh and you can just drive right in to docking bay seven we should maybe not 
Maybe not but kill. Madigan's a pretty like, cool guy. I, I don't want to. I don't want to destroy them. Can we? Um, we'll save Madigan first. Um, you know, I'd love to, but I've already hit the button to charge up the laser <laughs> oh, and fire. No. <laughs> Uh, no, time out, time out. Uh, <laughs> hearing that Madigan is on the space station and realizing that guy owes her 20 bucks, Fox is going to book it to their, like, beam-up capacitor, and she's uh, she's just going to be calibrating like crazy. Like, she's this is this is her moment. This is her hot-shot engineering capability. Yes. Yeah, yeah you got to do like, this. Beamer, like, and she's just going to, I'm beaming you up, Mads! <laughs> she goes and, like, slams her hand down, like, coordinates. She knows, she knows that he's hanging out <clears throat> in yeah. the lounge. Yep. Because uh, at, at the regular table uh, where yeah. he likes to, to read books and kick back. And she just like, that's going to be where he is. And so she's going to try and fucking beams him right the fuck out. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that is, I'd say, is that lasers or feelings? That's what super lasers. That's, that's super, super lasers. lasers. I'm, I'm going to hop in and I'm going to go, don't forget, he likes to put his leg up on that one thing. So oh, make yeah. sure you include the leg on the. Um... Leg on the one thing. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. <sighs> Account for the fact that the knee is in Captain Morgan pose for sure. Yes. <laughs> so how many dice yep. do I roll for that? Yeah. You. We have one d six extra if you want to add it in. It's true. You do have an extra three. So okay, three dice. Go. And I have to roll for lasers. I got to roll over or under. You have. You have to under. roll for lasers is under your number. Okay. So one, okay. two, or three is good. Oh hell yeah! That's a one. Oh well, yeah. What are the, are one, the numbers? A four and a five. So whoo. <laughs> So That's is four laser is laser feelings. feelings. Four so is you, laser feelings. Pew, pew, so pew, you pew. Absolutely get it. You, uh, yeah, you managed to uh, beam. <laughs> that. There it is. There's laser Jeez. feelings. The beam, the beam up button makes that sound. <laughs> and Fox is like, I'm so glad I made that modification. That's dope as hell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, Macaroni yeah. By Tesla. Exactly. <laughs> You, uh, you slam your hand down on, like, it's got a glass cover and everything, because this is, like, your own modifications that you're, like, you know, this is this is my area right here. So you lift up, slam your hand on the button, and you manage to just pull a tractor beam out of nowhere and uh, beam, or not tractor beam, uh, like, yeah, whatever, teleportation beam. And, uh, yeah, this, this intern uh, just materializes on the main deck in perfect, like, the... The captain's console is out, uh, and uh, yeah, Madigan just appears, like me perfectly propped up in the same position on top of the captain's console. He's like, oh, well, hey, hey guys. What up, Mads? Listen, What's up? Uh, we're super blowing this what? up, because oh? fuck Space Force for real, uh, and you owe me $20, so I... yeah. Um... It's okay, Madigan. We can uh, work on your contract, and uh, you won't have to be an unpaid unpaid intern anymore. Y'all are getting paid. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Not anymore. Yeah. We're our own employers. <laughs> I mean, my wallet was back there. Oh, too late. The lasers have gone. <laughs> roll, roll for lasers, please. Is that Gunther rolling for lasers? Yeah, Gunther's yeah. rolling for lasers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is Wahoo! he prepared? Is he an expert? What? When is he not prepared for lasers? One. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Amazing. I mean, uh, yeah, you... <laughs> my mom was visiting. <laughs> uh, yeah, he... He just kind of was like, uh, my my wallet was back there at, right as the lasers go through the view screen. Uh, all of this extra energy from that... Uh, supernova star has been rewired into your puny weapons and they are so overpowered now it is great like you saw the death star at the beginning of this adventure this ain't nothing compared to the lasers that you have now this is great complete overkill uh headquarters to uh space force are just blown to smithereens nothing left Hasta la vista, baby. It's worse. There it is. Spacey. Hey. Yep. <laughs> hey, hey, Gun. So that twenty dollars that I owe you, uh, I'm just gonna need a little more time because the guy who owed me twenty dollars, uh, we just fucking blew up his wallet. So Look, that, yeah. Mm, 
it's it's like, fine. I'm- I mean, I didn't I didn't really have the twenty bucks anyways. I kind of right. I had I had plans later tonight. I already spent the money on that. So. Right, 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 right. No. Yeah. Right, this, right, is, right, right. this is fine. Right. It's it's fine. Do you um do you got any like books here? Anything I haven't seen, you know, maybe? Uh Adam will, I'll uh, just go Fox, check. Fox I'll just, just go check off as she says, uh <laughs> Adam will will bring uh Madigan to his uh his very very like surprisingly small bed chamber and yeah. uh introduce him to uh his comic book collection oh oh nice he'll be very entranced in that yeah beautiful they're all like like just boy blank like yeah the boy detective and uh the boy adventurer and uh <laughs> just yeah. like they're they're comic books designed for kids yeah they're great. Beautiful. Boy cop. Boy cop. <laughs> Watch that. I would too. Yeah. Boy cop too. Boy cop too. Boy uh, harder. <laughs> Tokyo Drift. <laughs> two cop, two furious. Boy cop three. Revenge of the boy. Back to the boy. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, shortly after uh, you watch all of the space dust from the remains of Space Force uh, kind of float through uh, past your view screen. And it's not long before you have another incoming, oh, hey, thanks for the raid, Salty Sweet Games. Hey, raid. what's up? We're playing not- space games to support Jasper's Game Day. Anything you donate to us will be given to Jap- Jasper's Game Day and will also affect the game. We've already visited a planet of the cop, the planet of the cats, met a Made a whole bunch of boy cop puns. You just <laughs> missed it. You just yep. missed just Angus missed McDonald it. and the Angus boy McDonald detective. <laughs> yep, the boy detective. Uh, yeah, so I was trying to think of the books that they reference in that, but oh well. So uh, yeah, you you watch this, and very shortly after this, uh, another beeping red light on your console appears that you're getting another incoming call. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, yeah. Is it Ash? Is it Ash? Uh, yeah, you can check the caller ID. It's not Ash. It is uh, mm-hmm. head of, it's it's head of the space force, Cyborg Elon Musk, and he's calling. Do I? And you're assuming you know about what? Fox. Huh? Do I pick up the phone? It's it's Commander Cyborg Elon Musk. Yeah, I got this one. Oh, then good. Fox will stride up and just slam on the communicator. Hey, what man. are you doing? You just did you know that Space Force Command just got blown up? Where were you? I thought you were patrolling. Uh, uh... <laughs> she walks away from the community. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, hi, hi there, hi there, sir. Um, well, we 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 didn't notice it. It um, well, uh, we uh, we uh, yeah. How did you not <laughs> notice? It was blown up in pieces uh um well we were just the, the other the, we were looking the other way in, in we on the other side of the quadrant well what's going on over there i'm getting word of like f- furry rodeos what is why am i getting notifications of this why is this trending on space twitter so karina is going to walk up to the communicator and slam on the button to talk And she is going to say, listen, cyborg Elon Musk, this is the USFF, a macaroni, whatever the name of our ship is. We are now independent. Screw you. you. Screw the space force. We are taking this game hostage. We are the supreme overmind. We are the winners. F. You, dude, F you. We don't care about any of your little Space Force things anymore. We're here to, like, you know, start revolutions, man. Start revolutions. Revolutions of the mind. You don't even know. We're coming for you, cyborg. And then I'm going to hang up. Uh, uh, you can't. And it, it hangs up uh, on Cyborg Overlord. Nope, not Cyborg Overlord. Uh head of Space Force Cyborg Elon Musk. 
Hey, and doc. you're going to see her take out one of her weird things that she's been handing to everybody else, and she's going to eat like three pills. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was amazing. So out of character, talk. I must know what space what medicine are... are we taking right now? Go left. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> haven't decided they're, yet. they're gummy bears. She was just always like this. They're definitely edibles. Yeah, yeah, edible, definitely edible edibles. Edible Xanax. I love it. <laughs> Look, Spice was on the good table. Who knew? So and she's going to turn to everybody and she's going to... the good gonna... table until we get Spice. Soon. is going to turn to everyone and just kind of be like, listen, guys, I can't do it anymore. This simulation is getting out of hand. Am I right? What? I don't know. This, uh, Doc. <laughs> doc. <laughs> don't, don't do this to me now. Don't, don't, don't become one of them. Don't. I mean. Don't you dare. You're the only one here who's grounded in reality, please. <laughs> more edibles and just shove them in her mouth. <laughs> doc, I swear to God. This doc, isn't a simulation. Don't lose it. So close to the finish line here, okay? All right. Is it just me Let's or did it get heavy in here? Oh, fuck. Is there something wrong with the gravity? Yeah. I'm check that out. I'm trying to decide if, like, you need to roll lasers or feelings about all of those, but I'm not sure what that would be. Uh, he's very decidedly telling her, stow your feelings. <laughs> Get, so I would wager. Get your shit. Look around. Get all your it, shit. Find put it, it in the box. <laughs> put it in the box. It. Collect your shit. Put it in a bag. Put all your shit in a bag. Put that bag, bag in a box. Mail <laughs> that box to yourself. Just put it in a storage unit. I was gonna say, put it, put it in the airlock, and just punch that and hope for a wormhole. Sorry, what's yeah. next? We're yeah. our own employers now. You, we can you, do that, I guess. You've gone freelance. There's, yeah. I mean, there's still, there's still like things happening around space, especially if wormholes happen. You don't have a boss anymore, but you're also pretty sure. Like, I don't think you can just hang up on head of space force cyborg Elon Musk. Hey, 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 Adam. Yeah. Can you just turn on that cloaking device real quick? Beep boop, uh, beep. I was yeah. wondering if that would ever come into play. That's legit. Uh, listen, listen, listen. We're gonna need we're gonna need some additional. Uh, uh, gosh, I'm trying to decide. Do we want platinum flow or do we want cadmium two glue on? Mm. Uh, one of those. Will, uh, we got to keep this cloaking device up for at least the next. You know, I don't know. Twelve two years. Two years. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We're going to need a lot of it. So I suggest uh, <clears throat> we need to find a source. So let's, if we can go get that fuel, we can keep the cloaking device up. Uh, and that should. I've heard uh, advances in cloaking devices use MK12 hollow crystals to make sure that we're uh, always under, under protection. Hey, you did read that article I sent you. Good job, kid. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what if one of you has a, uh, old buddy from school days or something uh that you remember like oh yeah didn't didn't this one friend like live on a mining outpost or whatever that maybe had crystals similar to that maybe you know now that i think about it there was a person from the tech college hmm what were they what was their name again i want to say like sterk or something might have been like Sturk or something. No, yeah. that's not right. He had this weird accent, so it was really hard to know yeah. what the fuck he was saying. Hmm. Maybe maybe we can find him? I don't... What was the planet called, though? It was... Hmm. Hmm. Well, Charlotte hmm. was the cats. Eustace was the hamsters. Uh, and there was another one. There was a dog. What was the Deidre dog? was the dog. Deidre was the dogs. Yeah. Deidre was the dogs. Deidre was dogs. Hell where did Where did yeah. the Starks live? Hmm. New England. What? Wait, <laughs> I think it wasn't it Bostonia. Yeah. Yeah, yes. I think it was. It super fucking was. Hey. Yes. Hey. hey look, at you remembering details about my life, Doc? I, I appreciate no, you. I, you know, I think I remember this kid. I I think I remember him. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a vague memory. I like that. Hey, hey, Doc, how high are you right now? Very. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fox but will we're, go over, we're... plug in the coordinates for Bostonia. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't take you very long. And uh, yeah, he you you get there, uh, land with relatively relative ease because you know you're cloaked, so nobody can really stop you from getting in there. And nimble. And nimble. Yes, it's both. And uh, yeah, you you uh, you disembark. I think you're leaving Marvin on the spaceship, right? And how is Marvin, by the way? Because we kind of just were like. <laughs> Hey, sad boy. I just sad hang boy? out here while we fucking blow up a space station. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Marvin was uh, a little shocked that you did that, uh, but he is he's now uh, thoroughly engrossed in a conversation with Madigan, and uh, they're, they're just discussing all of the depressing things that they have experienced, and, you know, Madigan's got some real dark stories to tell, so they're, <laughs> they're pretty good occupied being maybe friends if yeah if just two people just saying sad stuff to each other as friends i guess it is so so fox Um, who is this this stirk person you're talking about well we went uh, we went to school together uh it's been a while uh and again can't understand a word the guy says his accent is just out of hand but but he might be able to hook us up with those crystals that we're looking for uh just uh just don't mention Winterhold. What happened uh, at Winterhold? We're not going to talk about it. There's not enough time. Uh, okay. Nope, but just know it wasn't my fault. You know, uh, when, when you were in school, Fox, wasn't he dating that one little girl, uh, Meldani? Seldani? What was her name? Oh, Reldani. Reldani. Yeah. Reldani was a real, real cool chick, huh? She was. Oh, God. Hope they're still just doing great things. Yeah, probably. Well, I don't know. Yeah. She was kind of, she kind of like had that thing. Mm. Probably worked out in the end. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> now at this point, I'm making references even I don't understand. <laughs> this is a delight. <laughs> We're in the lore now. We're in the lore. We in the shit now. And my sunglasses <laughs> didn't move down, so that was not as dramatic as I wanted it to be. You're try again. Welcome. Try again. Nope. Nope. Okay. No <laughs> the moment. Space. Moment has passed. One takes only. No double takes. One takes. No. No. Right. Quadruple take. No. I okay. don't do two takes. You do two takes. I do one take. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my writer. Yep. It's in the contract. That's, that's why you got to read it. Anyways, so you you disembark in this. Uh, it's a it's a planet, Bostonia, apparently. And uh, yeah, there's it's pretty pretty chill. It's a mining town, also a fishing town. I don't know anything about Boston. Um, and uh, I don't know. It's on the coast or something. I think I read uh, one of my books that there's some really cool, delicious treats in the north end of Bostonia. Yeah, there's some there's some good tea. Uh, you know, they, they had, they had some parties a while back. Uh, anyways, uh, that's, that's ancient history at this point. It's the year 3000. Uh, and we, it just, yeah, you, you don't remember exactly where this Sturt guy lives and just nobody in this town is understandable. Like they all have this really thick accent. Um, but wait, wait guys. Oh no. I think I know where he is. Uh, and Fox will start striding like confidently down the street, uh, doing like a, a head nod and like wave to like people as she passes, uh, coming up to it to a bar that's uh, Luca's Lair. Yep. <laughs> and it has the cool saloon doors. Oh, it absolutely does. Push them open and like stand inside. And it's just a bunch of like dark clothed, like <laughs> it's very like the, they're strangely missed inside like it's the the yeah. decor is very like gothic kind of vibes there's some cool chandelier shit fox yep. is going to stand there for a second it is i need to talk to the game master 
<laughs> and the whole place goes quiet. When oh, yeah. you say that, Karina is going, her eyes are going to go huge. And she is just going to just, her mind is just blown that you just said that. Everyone indeed does go silent and just kind of like looks at you and then all turn as one towards the bar. And from an equally dramatic entrance from like the back kitchen, there's also the swinging doors. So it's basically an identical uh, entrance. Uh, this this woman steps out. Uh, she's <laughs> she she uh, makes the same dramatic entrance and just walks up to the bar and puts her elbow on. She goes, "That's me." What up? Uh, <clears throat> I'm here. I'm looking for somebody. My understanding. How is can we can help? help us out. Looking for looking for Sturk. He's got uh, uh, lead on some shit that I need. Uh, hoping you can help me out. You're looking for Sturk, okay. Yeah, yeah. Come on through. And she uh, walks across and holds open the door uh, to the back uh, rooms. Not not the door that she came out of. There's like a second one for like a separate, you know, like private conference room. Uh, You all, I guess you all just follow Fox through. uh, And uh, there's just this. A uh, darkened room with a single light on over a desk, and there's just a, a man hunched over the table, like just furiously scribbling through uh, notes and and just a lot of books. Uh, there's some strange ancient writings on the wall, and he's just muttering to himself in a in a different language, ancient sounding. And uh, it's just oh uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, how. How can I help you? I don't know how to do a Turk accent. Don't worry, guys. Uh, Mrs. <laughs> Spacely's uh, universal languages class. I've been I've been studying this uh, strange language. Let me see if I can get anything from him. Okay. Uh, Fox will just kind of look and go, and step back. All right then. This is uh, this oh, is the, the perfect renegade spaceship. Um. Uh, macaroni and crew, and uh, you see, uh, I we're looking for MK12 hollow crystals, aren't we? Eh? I'm I'm sorry that my uh, my accent's a bit uh, out of date because I'm just still learning the language, but you know, learned it out of a book. <laughs> um, I don't. This this feels like it needs to be a a, a role. How do you roll for Boston accent? Uh, that might be. Is it intelligible? A whole lot of feelings. A whole lot of feelings. A lot of feelings in Boston. A lot of feelings. A lot of feelings. A lot of feelings in Boston. A lot of strong opinions. For, uh, yeah. I'm not an expert, but I'm prepared You're... for having taken classes in universal languages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just know so out, many. Please. Yeah, there's lots of feels from chat. Mostly um, angry. Okay, <laughs> if I'm getting using feelings. I need to roll above my number. You need to roll above your number. One six. And so that I got one success. I barely manage it. I, I, what what you talk about? That's that's not how we sound over here. That's uh ah, yeah, you're doing oh. Ah, you whatever, kid. You uh you you come look for MK twelve then, alright? Guess guess I can help you out with that something over here. Uh yeah, just just come on, come on. And he'll uh, punch out another door in the back of the bar. He apparently just rents this room or something. This is his this is his space. Just and, all uh, the doors are like saloon style doors for no yes, reason. Yes, they are. There are no real doors in this town at all. <laughs> Dramatic entrances and exits abound. Uh, and he he leads you through the streets to this uh, this factory where there's just like a lot of uh, er. Yeah, like a warehouse where there's like a bunch of boxes. And he's like, "Well, now, this here, this is a, uh, this is this is a lot of, this is where a lot of it is kept. Uh, not really, you know, legal, but it's it's fine, right? Yeah, it's." You guys just keep all of these illegal substances in one location together. And they... Oh no, it's it's all over the place, man. They, you can find this on every. And you every know where it time. is, and didn't ask us any questions outside well, of oh, oh you but... need some. Cool. Fox, we just go way back. It's it's fine. Yeah. 
Gotcha. Yeah. We, you know, can't, can't be. Hey, no questions know, about who we are. We might have kidnapped Fox and. It's Universal Midwinter Holiday. We're being, we're being nice to everybody here. Fair enough. Fair enough. Holidays are a break from the rational. I get it. Yeah. Also, you know, we got, we got places to be. We're walking here. We're walking here. I don't have time to ask you questions. I'm trying to get places. All right? Christmas. It's Christmas. (laughs) We will give uranium to anyone who wants it. A cooked goose for everyone. (laughs) (laughs) I can't look money in the mouth like that and turn it down. Look, it's like someone built a barn in a race to San Francisco out here. We don't have time. We don't have time to unpack <laughs> all that. I don't know what's going on anymore, and I'm just confused. Me neither. Uh, what excuse me, uh, Stirk, if we could have maybe like uh, 10 to 12 crates of the MK12 hollow crystals, I think we could be yeah. out of your hair real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just It's it's right there. You just take it. I don't care. Uh, I'm I'll, not helping you carry it. I'll but, push yeah, a button right on uh, my communicator and call uh, Marvin to come pick up all the boxes of MK12 hollow oh, crystals. Good. Yeah, he, he brings Madigan. the size Madigan. of a planet, and he's being asked to carry asked around to boxes. to carry luggage. Yeah, uh, he brings Madigan. They're both still talking, and you know, Madigan's like, you know, this, is, this is not bad intern work, actually. I've done a lot worse. You know, I've, I've had to research some weird stuff for Space Force. So I guess, you know, carrying boxes isn't the worst. This is fine. Well, you've only been with us for like 20 minutes, so um, yeah, you know, that's... hold on to your balls because we'll make you do worse. Well, Trust me. That's, that's no, no. true. He, he needs to be an equal member of this community. He's no longer an intern. Are you saying that's why that I'm saying we're going to make you do worse. The intern? Uh, I, He's I don't know do if I worse. have control on this new space renegade situation we got going on here, but uh, uh, I'm promoting you from not intern to... Well, from intern to not entry intern. level employee. Oh, yeah. oh, see that entry level that works out. Oh, but I don't have like seven years experience like most entry jobs ask for. Hey, 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 hey! Listen, listen, listen. We're willing to give you the skills that you need on the job because we believe in you and the future that you can have. Right? We want you to grow with this company. Wow, that's inspiring. You know what, Madigan? You are yeah? a top shelf employee. Oh, thanks, man. Top tier. I think you are proper good friend also there were no other interns around and we kind of blew up headquarters so and you owe me twenty dollars i did see that i you're either gonna sink or swim and if you sink my wallet i i I don't know what to tell you you blew up my wallet if we blew up space force do we still use space monies though or are we back to credits oh space monies was like the one good thing they did it's the one good thing they did the one good thing they did I mean, we could just do like space monies, but better. Space monies too. That space get complicated too. soon. Space Maybe money redo. <laughs> redo. Yep. Redux. Redux. I think yeah, that's that's got to be it for now. Well, anyway. Um, now yeah, sorry to have this whole conversation in front of you, dude. We don't even know you. I, I well, your fucking well, friend. Well, pl- pleasure oh, making yeah, your acquaintance, oh, Stirk. It, it just fine. Yeah. We'll work on yeah, my accent for the future. Oh yeah, you you work on that. It's it's great. I'm turning into Rory instead of I? everything is supposed <laughs> to be. Is, is Rory here? I turned a generic ever? Turk like would British, never. He would hate like, it. Ruffian accent. I was also trying for that, but as we've established, I'm not good at accents. What's great is you actually became a Boston accent. <laughs> what did I mean? You were like just on the cusp of like Boston. It was great. Hooray! Uh, Perfect. <laughs> Before before we get all the crates loaded up, yeah, uh, yeah. Fox will, will stride up to, uh, to start wordlessly, not say a word, mm-hmm. and like put her hand out, and they will like do an elaborate like absolutely row high five, like the most like yeah. in, like all the things. There's elbows mm-hmm. involved, and yep. then like just at the end, like nod, absolutely. And then he just walks away. Roll out. Uh, <laughs> uh, Adam will go up to him, but as he's walking, and just say. Um, Fox told me to say, um, uh, uh, Jack sucks. I'm not sure what it means, but, um, uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. (laughs) 
<laughs> so as this is all happening, Karina is scanning everybody with eyes wide, and she is hyper focused on who has been identified as the game master. Uh huh. Um, and she's just scanning, using like just a general scan to see if they're real. She's real high right now. Yeah. So high. So yeah. <laughs> At this point, yeah, I think I think you just get whatever answers you want to be true are true at this point. I think that's that's the level of high you're at. You just feel it in your bones. All right. <laughs> that was a good sneeze. Beautiful. Thank you. Bless you. Uh, okay. Yeah, you. You you got the shit. Uh, Hell yeah, yeah. You somehow Marvin and Madigan, the not intern now, uh, pull all of these boxes back to the ship. You start integrating it into the ship, right? You're just upping your. What yep. were you trying to do with this? Fox and it, Adam it are going so to start. Uh, we're we're fueling up the um, the cloaking the device. cloaking, cloaking device. device so you Making can hide sure, forever. Yeah. Literally, yes. Uh, cyborg Elon Musk's uh, sense of vengeance and space Twitter rage knows no end. Yeah. So we're just gonna true. stay under the radar while also just, you know, being dope. Being dope. Fox Excellent. says this out loud. <laughs> <laughs> are you making dope shit? I, I think they yeah, are. We are making yeah, we dope are. Shit. Yeah, so you you make repairs. I'm gonna. That's that's probably a laser's roll for how well this is maintained. That's a four, and I have a four in lasers. That is laser that is some feeling. laser feeling. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, you you nail this. You are cloaked for as long as you want to be. You're pretty sure that you can live off the grid this way forever fox is just grabbing like to adam it looks like senseless nonsense she's just like grabbing random panels and pulling them open and taking cables and while yeah. she's doing that she's like humming uh danger zone <laughs> yes fucking re danger like zone. it looks like she's rewiring the entire thing <laughs> the, the most ancient and sacred of songs yes yeah 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 yeah, yeah. It's the one song that has survived for three for a thousand years Yep. And it's great. Uh yeah. And uh you you get things wired and things are peaceful for a little bit. We wait a second just to see chat. Yes, good. All is quiet. And then uh you're you're flowing through space and you you see out the viewport. Uh what is what is that coming towards you? You, uh, is that a cherry red Tesla Roadster <laughs> heading right towards you? In, in space? In space? Or is this, in, is this on Bonstonia still? No, you've, you've, you've gotten back. You've fixed the, you oh, fixed right. we're, the we're ship and again. you've, you're, you're in space again. And, uh, yeah, you, you see this cherry red Tesla ro Roadster coming towards you, which for everyone else, I researched just to make sure I knew what it was. It's a oh, ship Elon Musk sent into space. Oh no! It's Commander Cyborg oh, no. Elon Musk. It's head of the Space Force, Cyborg Elon Musk. And uh, oh, yeah, and and Fox, you're... you got to stop pulling wires out of shit and come upstairs. Your radio. But I love pulling wires out of shit. <laughs> your your radio uh, flips on like by not by you didn't. You didn't accept the call or anything, but your speakers just start playing and uh, Cyborg Elon Musk's voice comes through and it's like, you think I didn't have all of you microchipped ages ago? Of course I know where you are. This is not okay. You cannot rebel like this. I am head of Space Force. You don't hey, sound very serious, uh, head of Space Force, <laughs> Cyborg Elon Musk. Because the most supreme overmind can't take themselves seriously. <laughs> I grab the microphone to the to the speaker thing, and I say, <laughs> "No, douchebag, 
we're the new leaders of Space Force. And then I lift one leg up to the mic and then I hang up. <laughs> Seriously, I like I'm that you that just fucking shit. no you'd no you'd. <laughs> yeah. All right there. Well uh Marina is standing next my dude and just a couple more in the mouth. A couple more edibles. Sound like a true leader. And he goes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, from from this point, uh, you can kind of see uh, you can see that Elon Musk's uh, cherry red Tesla Roadster has been uh, augmented very well. Uh, cannons start coming out from the side, and uh, the voice replies again with, "Listen, if you won't stand out, I'll make you stand down." <laughs> Alderon, take ev- evasive measures. Alderaan takes evasive maneuvers? Something like that. Something like that? Yep, just immediately like meows and starts like beep, beep, boop, boop. <laughs> Perfect, yes, thank you. Good fully work. Our ship is nimble, so I'm hoping we can uh, uh, nimble. outrun him. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, hmm, that's a, good, that's a good question. Who rolls for the ship? I feel like the engineer might. <laughs> the engineer, might. <laughs> engineer would roll for the, the ship, and then I would imagine that Gunther would roll for like if we try to shoot back. I don't know. Are you oh. trying to shoot back? I get yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. always. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Uh, so once we've like in once we've engaged again, Fox will do the thing where she books it back down to the engine room and just starts running around. There's like weird she's opening valves so steam can come out and she, like yeah that looks about right and then she'll make sure and, like actually start making it so the ship can function uh and just yelling to no one in particular i'm giving it all we've got captain oh that'd be dope as hell, <laughs> dope as hell. that's another four <laughs> yeah Woo! amazing holy shit these dice you you're doing great where's the bum of a Oh. There it is. Rolled a Stay five, which is also. Stay oh, on shit. target. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Double <laughs> laser like feelings. That makes the ship do a barrel roll somehow from the inside. Yes. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> Perfect. You, uh, yeah, you're you're still cloaked, and so really, he's only going. Uh, yeah, head of space force cyborg Elon Musk is only targeting you by the fact that he knows where your microchips are that he apparently just required of every living person sounds on brand uh and he uh at that moment uh, firing at whim as he's firing at whim uh adam will will go over to karina and go i know you're high as fuck right now but we need to get rid of our chips and send them out into space so he can't track us anymore get your laser scalpel yeah, and the- man. And <laughs> she's gonna head to the med bay and and grab a the sonic screwdriver. The sonic screwdriver. Yes. And she's gonna head back. She's gonna start with Mads though, because he's not. Because he's, he's disposable. Like the new guy, so we don't want to do any of the solid crew yet, just in case I wash it. <laughs> in case it goes wrong. Perfect. So I'm gonna go to Mads and I'm gonna be like, I need you just just stay real fucking still oh no i've let us into a very dramatic hey. very terrible role here um i mm, okay yeah and i'm going to attempt to what are you doing? locate and remove microchip all right that is lasers not our Dr. Strong suit. Not our Dr. <laughs> strong suit. This is like, a problem since for Since I'm using the what? sonic screwdriver to do it, can I oh, get an extra? Oh, dang right. Yep. You are a doctor, so you might you be are... an expert. You might, yeah. I'd say, I I'd, I'd call that a three dice situation. For sure. Cool, cool, These cool, good cool. bonuses. Good, good and team. I want less than five, right? You want, your, your number is two. So you want one or two. <laughs> oh, okay. just kidding. Yep. yep. Two, 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 two. two. Oh, I got three twos. Oh. I don't think that's ever happened to me ever. I love it so much. You, I, look, that, the air horn makes it. Yeah, it's no, so you, 
uh, Matt Madigan is uh, like really like, okay, you're just coming at me with a screwdriver with a Sonic sticker on it, but that's fine. Yeah, just stay still, man. Stay still. I'm a professional. Uh, look, 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 look me in the eyes. And then uh-huh. as he's like staring, I'll just very quickly locate his move. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you got it. He like, <laughs> he like kind of is trying to rear back, but like stretches out his neck at like per- the right place where you're like oh yeah it's like just like right there and just pull it out like this you got it you know exactly so what you're where saying these chips is they're going to just stabbed the the not intern's neck yes <laughs> yeah you stabbed the not intern but it's okay i'm gonna i'm gonna pull it out and i'm gonna hand him a couple of of of, of pills from my pocket and i'm gonna say you just take a nap you're good man you're good uh, uh, and you know what's even cooler you're not part of the game anymore, you know? You're not part of the I, fucking game. And I'm gonna I, walk I've towards run a lot Adam. of games. Okay. Uh yeah, you just I'm I'm gonna say three laser feelings. You you can just do it to everybody. You you got this. You are in the zone now. Nothing can stop you. You are the master of your own game. And I can't believe I you, did you manage to get everybody's chips out and you just have a handful of these these chips. As you're taking Chris. foxes out, she's like, God damn it, but my Spotify's linked to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you have a handful of chips. And for a minute, you're like, mmm, chips. And then you realize you're getting to that stage. You got to act fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to turn to to Adam and go, all right, uh, I got the things. I'm getting very tired and I kind of am hungry. Uh meanwhile the ship is just like dodging all of these you know blasts and trying to have a space Alderaan battle just meowing like crazy Alderaan is panicked <laughs> all of his fur is on end uh uh adam's gonna run to the emergency snack container that's on the bridge at all times in case the doctor gets hungry and, perfect uh, get the munchies and yes. i will take out an actual bag of chips and a bowl of guac and give them to the doctor and take the microchips away. And Perfect. he's gonna run into the into the bowels of the ship to uh, stuff the microchips into a um, a turbo a turbo co- not computer the trash compactor the trash compactor trash compactor oh god yes <laughs> into the trash compactor it is very very small because we have very little trash so yeah you're very eco friendly <laughs> just like out here crushing it like by hand basically yes you you do so absolutely that is easy to do. All these chips are smashed. The ship has been barrel rolling for 10 minutes straight. <laughs> and uh, yeah, what else are you trying to do here? I think we have a gunner that is probably would like to do some things. You muted, friend. Sorry about that. <clears throat> All right. Um I've been kind of phased out here for a second in the fog of war uh, and having war flashbacks, but uh, I heard something along the lines of the like, we're rem- thump, 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 thump of your heart in the background. <laughs> I, I hear we're removing chips and, and we've evaded yes. uh, the musk man. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, are yeah. nimble and cloaked, which means that he's just firing wildly at the location of your microchips. But you have now taken those out, so you are free and clear. Yep, yep. Uh, feeling around my arm for like where the chip might be, real quick. And when I isolate it, because I know it's going to be on the arm, um, I'm going to isolate it. I'm just going to oh, get Doc already, my, Doc already yeah, got Doc it. Yeah, Doc came Doc to help you. It. She got it. Oh, okay. I thought she got the the intern. I thought she, she, she had to make. We, we, she we, moved we, on to everybody. Yeah, we decided that with, oh, with three with uh, three laser, laser feelings. feelings. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's like a, that's like a, a, tw- a, a nat twenty. Uh, in that case, I would try. I would. I'd like to try to get the ship, <laughs> since it's unseen and we're no longer detectable. Yeah. I'd like yeah, to yeah. do a loop around to try to get behind the Tesla. Yeah. So that we can start firing at his hatchback, the ugly machinery that it be. <laughs> oh hell no. yeah! Uh, <laughs> I don't know what old bitey here means. What? What happened? What, what do we what do we we got tipped a certain amount of money oh oh, oh. <laughs> yeah we we got 
We got old. I think that means the supreme overmind needs to sing a sea shanty. I a a sea shanty or like old bitey's tune because old bitey's tune. I'm I'm gonna need a second here to compose. Uh, you uh yeah uh well well I quick do a hot composition of music uh gun what are you what are you trying to do you trying to do space a, maneuver here? To wrap around. he wants to he wants to uh do a, a sick kick flip yep. and get behind the enemy yep you roll <laughs> lasers roll lasers uh and it's just the one sir hack has provided you some lyrics if you oh my gosh you're those. wonderful sorry sorry yep. not sir hack sir hack sir hack yeah sir sir hack a lot yeah. Okay. That's the joke we were making earlier about Sirik. Roll the three. That Hell, is yeah. That is under your number. You you managed to do excellent maneuverability here. Uh <laughs> and uh oh Elon's got to go. Out in space we go, where stars often explode. We went through wormholes. Oh <laughs> <laughs> very good. Thank you, sir. Beautiful. <laughs> Be okay. Welcome to TPK's brand of feral. <laughs> this is, this is. You've heard of chaotic. Now meet TPK. Yeah. Uh, we're behind them. <laughs> we're behind them. What are you gonna do? Fire at will. Fire at will. Okay, we're firing. Am I? Am I rolling for that? Is that a you thing we gotta roll for? Absolutely, may roll. We don't have any special weapons to fire at this thing, do we? It's just going to be our... 47 mobile laser weapons are ready whenever you are. <laughs> it's just our yeah. standard macaroni weapons. Hell you, yeah. You have used all of your uh, good table items, except you do have a Jane's hat from Firefly, which you can use to intimidate. Oh, yeah. No, I'll totally put that on before I start yeah. firing. Uh, roll to four. You, with, with the power of Jane's hat, you feel immeasurable confidence and you may have an extra dice as well just in case you want to try for more laser feelings Uh, five (gasps) my arms disappear when i get excited (laughs) anyways you start blasting wait wait start blasting (laughs) how how would you like to describe the demise of uh head of space former head of space force cyborg elon musk (laughs) Uh, I would like to fire the weapons targeting the wheels of his Tesla Roadster. That's rough. The blowout of the wheels will send him on a skid uh, on on a several donut spin that he cannot control. Uh, And he will will fly into the nearest sun uh, with the same cyborg stoic look on his face. If I could do a Wilhelm scream, do you have a Wilhelm scream on your soundboard? Uh, I don't have a Wilhelm oh, scream, a but I can do this. <laughs> yes! that that, that's exactly ah. what it sounds like. Ah. He, like a boss. <laughs> like a boss. He, yeah, he spirals out of control and into the nearest sun. The position of head of Space Force is now free real estate. And you have i think accomplished your goals of making a cool a cooler space force of being hey, the last surviving members of space force so that we could take control hey, in a Doc. staged it's not like we killed everyone in space force no yeah. one was on the base it was universal midwinter holiday yeah they're all still around they just have nowhere to go to work anymore karina thrain oh no MD? everyone will have to stay home <laughs> i need i need you to look at me I need I know you're really high right now. But I need you to listen. We just got rid of the corporate overlord. It's time for you to become the game master. Oh, yes. I, I, I second this. <laughs> I she's just this. gonna I like just the she's just gonna brain explode and you're just gonna see her fall asleep. And Box will just look at her and she's like walk in hands and just now. Gonna take that as a yes. <laughs> perfect it was one half of a nod so let's pretend it's a yeah <laughs> yeah she'll finish the nod when she wakes up mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah this this is 
you've done well. Uh, I, I, I don't know if there's an epilogue that we can have to this chaos, but this is, this is the Looks end. Looks like of we're going to need a few more crew members. It's true. Now recruiting. I know some guys. Yeah. Insert generic, like, space music. No, no, uh, as uh, soon as she uh, says, I know some guys, uh, roll credits and cue, yeah. like, the... Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Hell yeah. Amazing. This is the end of the adventure I have planned for you, and I use plan in the loosest sense of the term. Uh, plan, but with none of those letters. Yeah. You know, this this has been a delight. You all have made this so, so good for me. This has been so good. Uh, yes. Yeah. I hey, what? This was a lot of fun. <gasps> I like a bunch. Good. This was so much chat, fun for me too. Chat was amazing. Thank you for all the donations. You guys are real MVPs. Rock stars. Yes. Um, we can say our goodbyes now, and then I can kind of wrap us up with a rehype of Jasper's and everything for this week. Let's do it. I'll go first, I guess. Perfect. That uh, I am great. proper nerdy on various things. I make lots of pretty pictures for TPK roleplay, and he made this frame, and it's amazing. So Shout if you're looking for, for pretty for pretty stuff, let me know. Um, come check out all of the millions of things that we do at TPK. Literally, the schedule has I think one open day in the entire month. Um, so, and that was by sheer chance, I think. Um, so we do a lot of really, really cool things like these kinds of charity streams. I believe that the upcoming uh, Destroy of Worlds, if you like the sci-fi f- outer space feel, is also going to be, might be a charity uh, stream. It's going to be much more serious as well. <laughs> much more serious. People might die um, that aren't cyborg. It's, it's not charity. What, it's not Cole charity? Cole just told us. Uh, well, oh, we not the it charity. <laughs> it's okay. We, <laughs> we are charity cases. But it's you fine. can still support our lovely, lovely shows. Um, Beyond the Undergrowth, I'm in. um, I'll be in Total Party Recap tomorrow. So check that out. I'll be talking about my show. We we referenced it briefly. It's called Proper Parlor Games. I did it last night. It was really fun. Check it out in the (laughs) the Twitch VODs if you want to check that one out. Um, I want to talk about all the cool stuff that happened this last week. Um, Off to you, Bright Dystopia, who are not part of TPK, but you probably do a lot of other cool stuff. I do things um i'm bright dystopia i'm a variety game streamer on twitch bringing the worst of the 80s to life on my channel i do a lot of these tabletop role-playing games in my own time and i'm an ambassador for jgd um yeah i mean that's it like i just i like i love tabletop i love role play i love doing voices and this has been this has been a, a riot this has been a treat this has been something it's it's been been something. You can't you say it's nothing. And anyone who else who wants to uh, join the Discord, there should be Ooh. a link in the chat please very do, shortly. Do. Um, and we will chat. We'll chat about all kinds of TTRPG stuff. Yeah, yeah. Chrissy. Yeah, that's me. Just kidding. I'm not high. Um, <laughs> so in character. Only in character, not in real life. What are you talking about? Chrissy gets real method. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm Chrissy. I play Karina Thane, our a little bit paranoid doctor, savvy doctor. Um, I, this was a blast. This was phenomenal. Um, definitely support Jaspers in any way you can. Um, not just today, but anytime. It's such an important little, um, it's not little, it's a, a huge foundation. So support them however you can. I don't know about huge, but um, One it's day. a big, important foundation so um i'm super grateful to have been part of this you can kind of find i think me and um a lot of different stuff i think sherlock tyranny of dragons is this coming thursday so you'll see me in that um we got tons of stuff so come check it out join the discord um yeah yeah that's it thanks for letting me be here thanks for being here sarah Hey, I'm Osarex Franco. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Osarex Franco. Um, as for what I've got coming up, you can catch me every Sunday over at Nat20 uh, in their ongoing campaign, uh, Morningstar and Company, uh, which is super duper fun. Uh, if uh, there's, I'm in a bunch of stuff there, Smash Cut. We also have Roundhouse, uh, which runs concurrently on Nat20 and here uh, on Thursdays. So every other Thursday, TBK, Nat20, it's dope. Um, 
But the big thing that I'm very excited for is a week from today, uh, I'm GMing my own campaign here on TBK Roleplay, The Bard's Refrain. So uh, come check it out. It's super fun, very hijinksy. Um, and again, I just want to express gratitude to you guys in chat. Like, thank you so much for the donations. Thanks for coming out, supporting us, uh, being a part of the hijinks. I want to thank, uh, Niffer for putting this together and inviting us all to the table and making this possible. It's, it's one thing to get to be able to like do the thing that you like. It's a whole nother feeling to do the thing that you like to help other people. So thank you so much for this opportunity. It was amazing. Uh, you're the best. I love you all. Mic drop. I'm out. Uh, before you finish us off. I, Nifer, I also I, need to pick off the mic. <laughs> uh, before you finish, finish us off, I want to mention that uh, tonight is the premiere of a brand new show I, on TPK Roleplay called I The Top. I wanted to announce oh, it. Okay, fine. You can do it. You can say the name. Yay, thank you. Because guess what? I'm in another show today with TPK, and it's called what? The Top Shelf. It's the very first episode of the one, the only, the not intern, Madigan's show. Uh, there were so many references, and I'm so glad if you all caught them. Uh, yeah, so The Top Shelf is premiering. It is all sorts of different game shelves. Tonight we're playing a game called Heart, the City Beneath, and I am playing just a good, good boy with a sourdough starter, and that's all that you need to hear to convince you to come watch. Um, and... Uh, there are just so many good games coming up. TPR is on Sunday. I'm not in, uh, and I am not in two of the six games that are playing next week. I'm on uh, four of TPK's games right now with Destroy of Worlds, Darkest Night, Brightest Light, uh, Queen's Gambit, and Cold Hands, Warm Heart. They are all wonderful shows, and I really hope you come back to watch them. But also, I want to direct you all to jaspersgameday.com. They are, that's the website for Jaspers Game Day if you want to hear more uh, or if you want to get involved with them. Jaspersgameday.com slash donate is also a very good place to go if you didn't get your fill of throwing strange and weird space objects at these people. Um, we, we love getting to be partnered with them and getting to, you know, support such a good cause it's really special to me to be able to be an ambassador for suicide awareness and prevention and i just want to reiterate hey you are not alone you've got a bunch of wild crazy fun space family and tabletop family if you need it here we want to be here for you any other announcements Otherwise, I see think you that's all everything. In... You can check us out on our website, tpkroleplay.com, or go to the jaspersgameday.com to check out that organization. Yeah. And see you all back here in five hours for the top show. Say, wave goodbye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>